Hello and welcome everybody to the Discover Magic Podcast. Steve, how's it going? Doing all right. Doing yeah. okay. Yep. I'm excited to talk about, uh, or not talk about, but talk <laughs> with to uh, to interview uh, your our friend. guest. Yeah, for today. I say your friend, but I guess it's our friend. Yeah. <laughs> so our a new friend of the show who has his own channel and he he does uh he does good good conversations good live streams so yeah yeah a lot Seems of like fun. a good guy a lot of fun yeah um but before we get to that um it's not uh it's not snowing over there huh no but we have a you had a little ice yeah we had a hail hail storm <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay it's gone it's gone yeah we so we had um it was raining here uh last week and there was two nights where it hailed at my brother's house, who's five minutes away from me. Oh and yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Not hail here. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> yeah, the cloud is only above. You can his literally house. probably see the ice coming down over there. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but I, I guess there's got to be a cutoff point somewhere. So that's too funny. But that's it's just weird that it was twice in a row that one. Well, yeah, it was two nights in a row. Yeah, he got it, and you he didn't. got it, and I didn't. <laughs> and he got a lot too. So yeah, I saw I saw the video from from yeah. him. Yeah. It's funny the way it works. Yeah. I said that the one year, I think it was first or second year that I moved here. So like 15 or so years ago when I, when I came to Arizona, yeah, we had a golf ball size hail and it, yeah, it just good. damaged a lot of, a lot of oh, like, yeah. cars for sale and they couldn't even sell them. No, that's, that's bad. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, yeah. let's, uh, let's get into our interview. Sure. Be fun. Cool. Can't wait. Wizards and witches, wherever you dwell, give us a hint by ringing the bell. Winds in the east, it's coming in. Like something is brewing, about to begin. This candle blessed us with a miracle. Take it, Kronk. <laughs> feel the power. Oh, I can feel it. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever! There's no mystical energy field controls my destiny. It's all a lot of simple tricks and nonsense. Well, I happen to be a wizard. A soothsayer, a prognosticator. Some all-powerful genie. He probably can't even get us out of this cave. <laughs> Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. New message. Wars. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to this here podcast. Well, we are Discovered Magic, and we hope all of you all <laughs> love the magic the way we do. Okay. All right. Well, before we uh, we get to our interview, we do have some news. We are uh, we are starting season two. You yeah. know what that means, Steve? Yeah. We've been doing this for a whole year. For right? a year. Can you believe it? <laughs> no. Uh, I Well, and it's funny because uh, I kind of remember because I had just moved into this house. Uh, it's a brand new house with my brother. And I didn't have anything set up yet or stuff hanging on the wall, n nothing. And you were like, let's go ahead and do these videos. <laughs> <laughs> like our walls well, let, me, let me go find my yeah. computer you guys go back and look at our first <laughs> videos yeah it's really yeah. funny yeah i i had i'm up against the wall or something and i i only had uh my computer that i have now but it was you know it took a while to get out of the box and i didn't even have a i had like a little monitor i, I don't 
because right now I'm using I'm using my TV as my monitor, my gaming TV as my monitor. But back then it was just a little monitor, and it's funny to think then look back. Yeah, cool. So I, I don't know. Do we do we reset the interview numbers? Does this become season two interview one? Sure. And it just keeps our episode numbers going. I think that's the way we should do it. Okay. Um, episodes keep in, in, incrementing, but the uh, individual episodes, the continuum and all that, will restart. I think that makes sense. That way we, we keep our season numbers. Sounds good, I guess. Yeah. I'm just going to say yes. Yes. So <laughs> It's not easy trying to work this stuff out, people. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when like certain places only want like an episode number and we have multiple kinds of episodes. So yeah, I don't want to make a new right. podcast just for a different episode type. Right. So we have separate episode or separate episode numbers, I guess. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. If you're still here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now it's on to our interview. Steve, who are we interviewing today? We are interviewing one of my good friends. Larry from Goofy Guy Adventures. Hi, hey, Larry. How's it going? What up? Sick with it. That's what sick I always go with. I go with sick with it. I know that kind of sounds, maybe you're like, whoa, what is, who's this guy? <laughs> That's just something like the chakras. I think it's like sending a, a older vibe. Like I'm into the dad, total dad vibes. I'm always that guy that makes things awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So well, thanks for having guys. me, guys. I, I gotta say, yeah. like, I've seen you know you guys' work here pass through. Thanks to Steve getting me uh, the link, and I know that this has been something he's been looking forward to doing too for a while. I've been looking forward to doing it. Yeah. This is honestly, this is cool. You guys I, have your Disney knowledge down. Well, thank we you. Try, try. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I you just, don't, you have I wouldn't cool be here though. I, I wouldn't be here though if it wasn't for Jason pushing me. Okay. And for you, oh, because right, I get a lot of credit to you because you gave me all these tips on what to do and, you know, to get me to be in front of the camera instead of behind, behind the, the camera, camera like I was used to. Yeah. So thank you, Larry. Oh, for, absolutely. For yeah, man. That. Like, I, I love engaging with our viewers. I, For those that don't know, yeah. I do a live stream at Disneyland at least once a week on uh, YouTube through Goofy Guys Adventures. So that's how I was found by Steve. He found me uh, yeah. way earlier than a, a lot of people did. So it was it was cool off the bat. It was kind of like I just was like, all right, this is I wanted engagement with whoever we watched and yeah. to find out their backstories of Disney and what how they tied to the park and where it was before, or maybe what they look for in the future. That's where yeah, a bond started. Yeah, I, I, I totally remember the first time I saw you uh, going live, and you were in California Adventure. <laughs> And, you know, I was listening or watching other live streamers and it was like maybe a minute, two minutes and I didn't like it. Mm. And I just go flip it off and, and not um, flip them off. I like to see those videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I, I came across your channel and right away you're like super funny. You were engaging with everybody in the chat, which I love because. A it's lot of the other do. streamers don't don't do that. Yeah, yeah. They, they're just they stick to themselves and do things, and they'll look at the chat maybe every five minutes or right. whatever and say hi or whatever, and that's it. But you are like super engaging with everybody in the chat, not mm -hmm. just one or two people, but everybody. Exactly. And then you went into a section of um, the animation oh, yeah. department or whatever the it was animation called, animation academy, and then that's yeah, the yeah. animation building. Special yeah, you were heart. you were in there, and you went down to the um, Beauty and the Beast, the Beast Library. And I, yeah, and I've never seen that before. I've been in that building many times, and I never went in there. And that's when I, I'm going to ask him, "Where is this?" And that's <laughs> how it started. I asked you, "Where is? Where are you at?" And then that's when you responded, and I'm like, I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know about that. Well, now it's gone, unfortunately. They've retired yeah. that. But it was good to show it during that time because yeah. for me back then, I, well, I, you know, I have a lot more ties to the Animation Academy because of my memories there with my wife. I was lucky enough to to get married through Disney weddings, and that was our, oh, nice. our area. Yeah, that was that. 
that's a story in itself but the uh yeah. <laughs> but the uh, actual building we always liked it before we just thought it was so it cool does. to see things we grew up with and then beast have his like library yeah. that was like one of the things we're like this is so cool we would always show people they just didn't know it was down there i do yeah. miss though they had a ursula thing too down there they used to have where you would talk oh, wow. to ursula and then she would like take your singing voice and you sounded all weird that all got replaced a long time ago but uh that was another part of that whole thing and then you would wow. circle back up and you would go through this room now where frozen has that's where down on elsa are now but that oh. room was actually pixar's showroom of what was coming through the pipeline i miss all that oh wow Wow, I never even knew that was there. It was so awesome. I only went in to see Crush, and that's uh, what everyone is, yeah, yeah, and that's about it. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. people forget every now and then go and draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's always the go-to, especially when it's hot out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why everyone's yeah. like, take a nap, and uh, yeah, it's a good place yeah. to take a nap and just sit around. But there was so but much. I love, like... uh, I love off the page, so I always go through there okay. and. You could, that store is yeah, amazing. That is yeah. a place you could lose money quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So I don't know if you know this, but uh, but this guy was a viewer of mine. Oh, oh yeah. okay. So this is like a full circle moment. Then. It is. You got two yeah. different viewers. Okay. This guy or this, if I can Can't point. Really see it. Yeah. That's the hardest uh, thing that, to do is trying to point behind. That's, you. Yeah, uh, that's what started the whole. It's, it's a little TV text. actually. I, yeah. Oh, I okay. Made it for for Ernie. I can turn it um, on. It's a uh, iPad holder, though. Oh, and, uh, that's the real innovative. Bob okay, actually uses it in the booth. Um, well, he used to have it. It's actually on his podcast now. On the back shelf, there's a and it just puts it on the shelf. Oh, that yeah. is sweet. Okay, man, that's yeah. my. I'm sorry, I don't make anything, Steve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I you know you make great stream the, videos. The so only thing I can do is talk, and I think I've utilized that as far as I can go. Hopefully, it gets better. <laughs> uh, you know, it's working out for you. So I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone's pretty good at faking it. I tell you what, <laughs> they rub, they butter my biscuits every time. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, if, if they were faking it, you wouldn't be here right now. So. Oh, I appreciate that, Jason. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, so, so, Larry, when did you, well, like what Jason was saying. You're what I was about to say. Go, yeah. Go yeah because it. that happens all the time Just, with yeah, us. We, yeah. we, we keep saying we're, we're brothers from from different mothers, you know. You so. each other sandwiches kind of thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, we, we always have the same Just, thoughts. It's, it's kind of funny. That's awesome. Yeah. You're really funny. <laughs> Go go ahead. You can finish. No, it no, then. it's all yours because <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. So, Larry, when did you first uh, like discover the magic of of Disney and and, and, and not like just the parks, like the parks, and, but like yeah, appreciate but, them, appreciate Walt for what he did, and you know all that yeah. kind of stuff. Oh man, the Walt stuff came later. That's for sure. When I started really digging in deep, I'll I'll that's probably later in my uh, life, but. The Disney Park part, which got me into Disney, was um, God rest her soul. My uh, my aunt, uh, she had all the Disney movies. She had them. She was so organized, and she would, whenever we were coming over, it was my aunt wasn't my neighbor. We lived out in the middle of nowhere in California. Literally, it's like a middle Central Valley. So I would go over during the summers, and we would just go watch Disney movies in her pretty much her movie room and she had every movie categorized like you would open a book and then you would kind of just look through wow. there and then you'd be like okay number 86 i'm gonna pop in oh, sword in the stone wow. or whatever wow. so i would do that i would just go there and yeah. watch disney movies so that's where it started at and uh i didn't get to watch any of the older cartoons because i think at that time they weren't really accessible on vhs but I watched yeah. all the movies and then I started telling my family I wanted those movies like to buy. So Aladdin first one that I got bought myself for my, and it's always been my favorite. That's why I latched on to Disney cuz I'm a huge genie fan, Robin Williams, I was already a fan of him before that. Yeah. And uh yeah. that's what really kicked it into gear for me being a Disney fan. And I just kept latching on to everything after that. I mean, I, I got to admit, I lived in a good period of Disney animation. Like, seriously, it was just a good period to be a kid because you're talking about Lion King. I mean, The Little Mermaid, if you want to even go further back, uh, just great movies were coming out through the pipeline. So I was lucky for that, to have that. But the uh, park magic, it's funny because I had family 
in Southern California. And we used to go at least three times a year out to Southern California. And uh, it really ticked me off. <laughs> we used to <laughs> drive into Southern California and they'd be like, oh, we're going to go to Disneyland. Oh, we're going to go to Disneyland. And then we didn't go. We didn't go. Oh. So, yeah. And, and that, that's where me and my, I don't, have, I don't think I've ever shared that in a stream, but that's where <laughs> me and my wife kind of bonded at too. Like she had family that always went to Mexico. And then they'd be like, she'd be uh-huh. hoping deep down, like, maybe we'll stop at Disneyland. And it didn't ever happen. You just go right through. <sighs> So you just saw on the five, then Matterhorn next to it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it. Yeah. And it's kind of like, just breaks your heart for a minute. Oh, we're going so, in there. Yeah. Exactly. There go. You see all of these like amazing things. And sometimes we even drove by when the fireworks are going off and that was like a heartbreak or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, thinking yeah. like, God, I'm never going to get in there, but I got lucky enough when there, we did the whole, about when I was, uh, eight or nine, we did the whole family trip. Like everyone pitched in, everyone, uh, like my cousins, my aunts, we all pitched in three families. So like all in total, oh, it was like fine. 12 of us, I think in total, uh, all going out there at the park at wow. the same time. And matching uh, shirts? No, no, yeah, that yeah. wasn't the time for matching shirts. The only thing we had matching, and here's the kicker, day one was amazing. It was a great trip, but day two was horrible for Disney standards. It poured. It was a Oh, rainy wow. day, and the yeah. only thing we had matching was those ponchos they used to have that are yellow. Yeah, yeah. They had yellow <laughs> ponchos, and that's the only thing we all oh, matched. Wow. In. So yeah, that's funny. Uh, we got on so um, many rides. My mom bailed, my dad bailed, but I was there with my aunt, and my cousins that hung in there, and we kept getting on rides yeah. because everything was you know raining or whatever. And then I'll never forget getting on the train, and we we're going to get on one more ride in Tomorrowland. I don't even remember what ride it was. Uh, but the uh, but what happened? Was the, the wind shifted real quick. I don't know, a Santa Ana wind or something, and all the <laughs> rain from the upper tarp just went <laughs> down our backs, oh. and we were like, "Oh, it's time to go! It is time to go!" <laughs> and now you know, Steve, why I hate being soggy at the park. There you go. That's yes, full yep, circle. Yep. I always tell people, "Why are you not like, getting wet?" And I'm like, "That's just yeah. brings back that traumatic of being like, yeah. time to go home, it's, no more park." We're always telling Larry to go on splash, uh, and go, that's, go on, that's and the time when you just say. Hey, all right, screw it. I'm already wet. Let's get it. It should have been. Yeah, but my family was like, you know, I was a kid. And they were just like, this is, we're all going to get sick. We got to get out of here. And I'm like, all right. So yeah. that's, yeah, that's where it all ended up happening. And it kept latching on, especially when I met my, uh, my gal, Rebecca. Uh, she was in high school, our first trip together, which is crazy. We were in a music club. And they fundraised to go to Disneyland and to, to tie it into music because oh, we didn't get to do the yeah. whole music thing. We went to go watch uh, Les Miserables and Orange County at the theater. That was what we did education-wise, but the rest of the trip was Disney. And I'll never forget it. I always try to tell people in the stream, I learned so much about my wife at the time, my girlfriend, because of just being in line and talking to her. Because in high school, yeah, you know, you don't, that's how long we've been together. Yeah. Been since high school, um, 20 years over. Yeah. So it was... Usually, you know, you're like scared to talk to each other, but we were like forced, yeah. you know, you're in line. There's yeah. nothing to do. These were before <laughs> cell phone days. We could just keep scrolling or whatever. So it's like <laughs> we were forced to really talk about each other. And we found out we both really love Disney. And that's pretty much when it led into me digging deeper because I was like, well, you know, we both could talk about it. So figuring yeah. out about Walt, figuring out about the Imagineers. And before you know it, you know, here we are you know, where we are streaming at the park. <laughs> so oh, I cool. week if we yeah. can. That's, that's, a, that's, an awesome that's a great story. Yeah. yeah. That's so Appreciate neat. the question. Love it. Um, so you, you, you did music in high school then? I'm like, what, what instruments did you play? So I tried playing the drums. Horrible. Horrible, huh. Adam. Like, but I, I like love those? <laughs> yeah. Like those? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I was I was so bad and I'll never forget my music teacher being like, you just you just keep playing the same beat over and over again. Like that is not how you do drums, Larry. <laughs> but I got into it because I played guitar. And that was my main thing. I like to play. My grandfather passed me down a family guitar when I was younger and I kind of just self-taught myself like he did. We just yeah, cool. played on it like whatever sounded good. So then when I got into yeah, see, high school, yeah, that's, that's Jason right there. Oh, that's what kind of guitar is that? What axe is that? Uh, it's uh, a good question. It looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's a Mitchell. Oh, <laughs> nice. It's, it's, okay. It's, you know, it's not uh, well, well known, but it's, it's a really good guitar. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. They well, do I, some... I got a few electrics in the other room. But... Yeah. And the acoustics on Mitchell's are oh. 
bar none. I love I love that brand. Nice brand. So yeah, I, I got lucky. So speaking to my wife, my wedding gift was a Les Paul. That was my oh, wedding gift. Oh, my wedding. Nice. So yeah, it's yeah. Uh, all black, really sweet. Oh. She probably right now she's listening. She's probably like, you never play it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Is that I mean, the one where you have your, your picture on the podcast? Yeah, that's the one. Okay. That's yeah. the guitar I was playing. And uh, yeah, I, nice. I, I, I called it the Black Doll. Yeah, I know that sounds creepy, but it's so cool and so <laughs> mysterious. That's what I thought of it when I got it. Yeah. So yeah. I love guitar. It's it's so much. It's an outlet for me. I do miss playing as much as I used to. But the truth be told, like I was in a lot. You know, you kind of got to be in the mood. You got to have like that that feel of it. And I haven't necessarily had the time to have that kind of feel of it again. So that's, I yeah. think that's different for me. Yeah. I usually that puts me in the relaxed kind of mood, mm -hmm. and I can just kind of just play or any of my thoughts away. You know. That's cool. Yeah, I want to get there. But for me, I get too caught up in the, does this sound good? Like, I want it to sound a certain way. So that's when I get messed yeah. up. Like, I like, I want it to sound something. Like, I want to nail the next note. So that's where I get caught in guitar too much. But I should take more of your advice, Jason. Just let it play like I did when I started. Dude, I, I used to, like, as I'm going to sleep, like, lay down and actually just Wow. Like wow. That reminds me of my best like friend. Hawaiian music. My <laughs> best friend used to do that all the time. He would just go to lay down and then he would uh he would play his guitar and he, it was electric, but he would play it just with no amp or anything and just kind of like yeah. try to listen to the the sound of the guitar. And it was something I was like, dude, aren't you gonna like hit your head or something? <laughs> with the you know the neck. You gotta or have the stand right next to your bed. <laughs> that's, that's it. Exactly. Wow, you nailed it. Yeah, he would have the stand and just set it up and be done with it. But yeah, he was that guy too. So I, I totally could see that. That's cool. Yeah, we're uh I don't want to get into too too much, but we're we were trying good. to do some kind of music, Steve and I. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. What yeah. do you play, Steve? Disney Disney related, so my drums. I don't know. I was just messing yeah. around. <laughs> That's why I was like, I couldn't play drums. I'm jealous. I play spoons. Deep down inside, yeah. I am a jealous Spoon guy. Man. I am super jealous. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to be the drummer. That's what I wanted. I was a big Dave Grohl fan. Still am. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah. yeah, he's a drummer, but also many more things now. I mean, guitarist, music, lyrics. Yeah. So yeah, he's super talented. Yeah, well, Canadian yeah. stance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. there's a, there's another uh, Disney connection. Uh, Josh Freeze, who's their drummer now, his dad was the uh, Disneyland um, band manager. No way! Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Oh man, yeah, that's he, awesome. It's like one of those deep cuts. That, like. That is a hard trivia question. Disney you could really spin that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should put that on. Which member of the Foo Fighters or something like that has ties to Disney? That would be yeah. so cool. So People I'll, probably uh, guess Dave Grohl. That's what they yeah, would say. Just because that's all they know. <laughs> that's all they know. <laughs> no, but anyway. uh, so how, how often do you try to get down to the parks? Uh, and see, here's a good question. Because, I mean, everyone could see I get to the parks at least once a week. Um, but the goal is twice to stream, but I do get the question a lot, like recently since doing the channel, like, do you ever just go for to go like not, not to stream? Streaming. Right. Yeah. Right. And I'll admit, you know, we've, me and Rebecca try to pick that, build that into one day, but we really just cherish the in-between times. And this is why I tell people like, sometimes people are all like, Oh, when's your night stream? Cause I usually try it on Saturdays twice, stream twice. And that's yeah. kind of like yeah. our time. Like that's so if I really had to count it, I'd be like, it's one time a week where it's just me and Rebecca enjoying the park. Really? Like, I'm not saying I love streaming, but when it's just like me kind of like soaking in the ambience and then kind of like the high of the live stream, like talking to everyone, yeah. like we could talk about the conversations that we had with the people about Disney or something funny that came up. That's when I feel like I go, but most of the time it's twice a week, but there's been, there's been periods I went like two weeks in a row and stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. where I was pretty crazy. I, I've never done that in my life. I just did it to see. So, so Jason, and I always were like, "How does Larry do it for like six hours <laughs> yeah. straight? Yeah. How do you do it?" Yeah. It's like that's the that's the big yeah. question. Everyone's like, "How do you talk for six hours?" I don't know. I asked well, my parents. Like, not probably... even just that, but like physically, <laughs> if you got to have several battery. You're you're like, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. the the 
behind the magic, I, my first, oh, maybe Steve remembers this, but I would, my battery would die and yeah. people would be like, yeah. that's not acceptable. And I was like, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't know what kind of d- data, you know, I was trying to figure out what the phone would overheat, but yeah, I'm on a fuel rod thing, you know, even though they're, yeah. n- I would not suggest to anybody at the park, if you want your phone to charge fast and have a reliable charge, just buy a cheap one off Amazon that has good reviews um, and pumps out a high output. Mm-hmm. Those ones, I go so much, so it's more the value. So I just plug it in as soon as I start streaming because I know the yeah. battery is going to give what it's going to give and charge as it stays pretty much it'll go about maybe eight to ten percent does the gimbal because i know you use uh every now and then i think you use that one gimbal right um i forget the, the they have dji that company. yeah the dji one that has the charger built in that was the uh, uh om3 and after that they they still have them built in but the battery got smaller for a weight purpose small, so, so that yeah, one is yeah. the best one, honestly, for battery if you want yeah. to do it. And it will pull it off. I, I used to, one of the beginning days, I used to do that. And that one, yeah. but you know, over time, if you keep doing it, you're, you're going to burn the battery it uses to stabilize. Right, right. So it's like you don't want to do it too much because then you're going to lose that nice optimal stabilization that the yeah, phone. Yeah, because then it goes. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> runs out of gas. You know, it's it's just yeah. the way it's going to go. So, but I'll tell you what, if you're just occasionally putting it together, it's that version was the best. You could really, they don't even have that version anymore. They have like a modified one now. The yeah. one I had, the original, which Rebecca bought for me way long time ago before we even <laughs> started streaming because i was always the tech guy i was like i gotta have that and she's like what are you gonna do with that and i was like I'll, see I'll, I'll, I'll i didn't say that i said i'll film at the park and i and she's like all right yeah. sure we'll, we'll we'll see and then she bought it and i think i filmed like i don't know like when we'd go we were going like uh once every other month and I'd film for like 10 minutes <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I would put it away and so put then, it in the locker. <laughs> uh, yeah. In the bag of the locker. So yeah. that was not the greatest thing ever. And then she was all like, you know, you should use that more often. And it's the irony. We always talk about how now I like juice out that thing. Like I still have yeah. it. So, yeah. But, but yeah, you're using the fuel rods is way easier for you. To yeah. If you're going to the park, it's replenish. easy. Yeah. yeah. If you're going a yeah. lot, you just, you just find a fuel rod station and replenish. And the, the, the thing that keeps me going honest truth when I go for six hours straight, you know, usually I'll tell people truthfully, like four hours is the window I look for where I know that I've kind of hit a point where I have to watch, you know, yeah. energy how your body feels and all those things right and the temperature all that yeah yeah, because you always have to remember i remember you always i gotta go drink something i gotta remember to go drink something exactly you gotta stay hydrated you forget because you get so caught up in the moment but at six hours usually it's because i'm i'm just in the zone i'm feeling it i like that what we're covering i think that at those times and it's your interaction with the chat that's what kind of just gives me an extra boost i always tell people that and and sometimes there's weird stuff that happens like in the park, like things that'll happen that I can't necessarily like always... when they don't like you. Uh, <laughs> you see, I saw that too. But there's always stuff like little things. Like sometimes people don't even want to be on camera, and that like pumps right. me up. Like I, I'm not saying like yeah, I got you. It's more like yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so nervous. And I'm like, it's just I'm just a dude with a camera yeah. in my hand. And when they're just yeah. like, oh, can I say hi or whatever, you know, that stuff yeah. really makes me feel like I remember being that guy to con when I used to listen to podcast and content yeah. online for disney like seeing them be like there they go and yeah, i was like yeah i don't even yeah. think of that moment but then when i see it in the kids faces mostly and some adults yeah um, you mean like chan chan then yeah, you and yeah. It, just, it kicks me into gear yeah it makes me feel a lot more like almost uh like i'm doing the right thing here like i'm there's yeah. purpose to it so yeah and cast members no, it's, it's yeah. great yeah yeah it's always fun when uh when you're in line and the kids come up to you and like hey are you live streaming and like oh wait you're you're a goofy goofy guy yeah <laughs> when they put it together yeah those yeah. are those are ones i don't i i mean i could share like a story that really there was a point um when i was doing these live streams in the beginning that i could just be honest with you guys like for anybody that's interested in it it's very fun there's a lot of work to it there's a lot of testing right but what gives you the juice if you're really into it is the in- interactions you get not from like, oh, I'm a star or anything, but it's like the genuine interactions you get from people that just watch just because yeah. it does something. And uh, there was a young kid. I don't see him as much anymore, but it was Pixar Michael, I think was his name. And um, I was having a rough day. I was not in the best mindset, but I was pulling it off, like just trying to get by. And he kept saying, I'm going to find you in the park. I'm going to find you in the park. 
And uh, this was early in the game, and I was like, yeah, okay. So then he he, uh, he came up to me, and his mom was there, and and I could tell he was um you know autistic or maybe on the spectrum, and yeah. uh, it it just hit me like this is the levity of like no matter what I'm doing, someone could be watching that this is like makes their day like this is what exactly it, this is yeah. when they see this as they could take away reality mm-hmm. or kind of what disney does for everybody right that gives them right. that, that right. levity so that's when things change for me i knew like what i was doing had a good purpose to it so i liked it yeah. and it was fun it was fun that really changed my shout out to pixar michael i know he doesn't show yeah. up as much anymore but that was one of the beginning ones people like that's steve so almost cool. made me quit so no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so do you do you find um for the most part that it's a positive with everybody around you? Like I'm sure you must get some kind of negativity, but Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll, to be frank, you know, it, it's there's days where I I know that I'm in line and somebody is just not having it. Like they right. they will literally say I don't want to be on the vehicle with that guy. That and that was uh guardians yeah that was not my first time that happened uh that was that That was was a point where i was getting really fed up with it um because i i tend to see it in certain periods of the year and i think i don't want to blame it on a certain like group at all it's just certain periods of the year are different i feel like in it's a mixed crowd maybe of some sort but people in line you know they they feel they don't want to be filmed and that's understandable but then i always say this is Disneyland. You know, you're being filmed like everywhere, but you're okay everywhere. with like yeah. taking pictures. And, you know, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the one argument, right? <laughs> so then I'm like, it's okay. I can get another vehicle. But then when they start ousting me, like saying like I'm a problem and stuff like that, that's yeah, when it's... it gets to me because I'm like, I'm not really doing anything other than what someone else does out in public. I'm just here at the park and there's no rule officially, but not to yeah. the stream, but they wanted me out of the line. They didn't even yeah. want me on the line. Yeah, it's, it's it's funny how, you know, crazy. just people without a camera can sit there and, and talk in a line and everybody's oh fine. Oh, my God. The conversations. Camera, yeah. yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I'm like, trying to talk louder and people think like, oh, why is he talking so loud? It's because the people behind me, they yeah. just don't hear them because I'm having to talk louder than the person that's right beside me. And they're having <laughs> like, a, you know, they're having an all out, you know, a Disneyland yeah. trip where the day goes like this. And I tell people in there and I'm yeah. cool with that. Uh, but yeah, you're right. It's like they're having a conversation with themselves sometimes and really loud. Like they just either they're super hyped or they're super mad or they're super tired. And I totally get that. So yeah, that was, I would say that was the worst example. But I don't, Steve, to flip that one back on, you know, <laughs> I was walking yeah. out and uh, yeah. behind the scenes, I think I told everyone the story. Yeah, where screen. Rebecca was like, why don't you try she's, to get back in like, line? Get back in that line. She's like, yeah, do yeah. not turn around and just, you belong yeah. in that line. And I was like, okay. So then I went back and I told the cast member and I explained yeah, it. She's, didn't she see everything happen, yeah. right? That she wasn't with cast? me that yeah. day, uh, but she yeah. saw everything. And she's yeah. like, no, nah, don't do that. She's like, go back in line and see, because they can't kick you out of a ride. That's insane. And I was like, yeah. And it was funny because when I was leaving, I don't know if anyone caught yeah. that when they when I had to leave outside or whatever outside yeah. the exit from the pretty much the lift because um, you were like almost on I was the ride the, I was yeah, one right, more right away from getting yeah. inside the actual elevator yeah, I remember that the gantry lift excuse me so I ha- I got off the cast member that was in there waved to me and was all like yeah. hey you two it was <laughs> yeah. pumped yeah, yeah and then yeah. that's when I was like oh yeah thanks and I just kept walking and then I was, that's when Rebecca was like no 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 go back in there and so then they yeah. they were able to sort things out and they were like oh you know I get it man I get it we, we, there's there's stuff that happens you know we can't control and at that point the, I don't know why they told you to leave the ride that was not okay uh, the cast member shouldn't have did that. A lead came and said they shouldn't have did that. They yeah. could have just made you wait in the behind and then came back out after the country right. was done. Right. And I said, okay, yeah. that's all right. I go, I'm cool. As long as I can get back in my spot. And he's like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He got me back in my spot. And then he also gave me some of those passes in the day you could use for other rides. Oh, right. For, so yeah. that was the well, part. When really I was like, cool. That yeah. was the part where I was like, okay, yeah, I felt like, oh, yeah, this is one of those days where I was like, that's when the and magic you went up flips. The- the people and went like this right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I, got past I think I get, I get, yeah, I know, right? I get more mad about selfie sticks than I do at people. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one that bugs me. 
But anyway, <laughs> I call those out and I feel bad sometimes because it just irks me because I go through security and they're just oh, like, I know. they will yeah. pull everything apart. And then I see someone yep. there with a nine foot tripod and I'm all like, what if I grab yeah. that and just held it and just was like, yeah, this is not a selfie yeah, stick. Yeah. It's, it's a <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. But it's all it's good. Like, you know, you're going through all your stuff, and I had a um. Well, you you know the the pocket, yeah. Right? And they don't know what that is. Well, right. they at that time they didn't know it what wasn't that as was popular, right? No. Yeah. So they're like, "What does this thing do?" Or, or like my battery, because my battery uh, is about this tall. Okay. And it's wow. It, you it's know, it's a cylinder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like, what's this for? And I'm like, "Well, it's my charger for my cameras and my phone." Mm-hmm. Just well, it's not a selfie stick. It doesn't extend. Like, nope, it's it's just a battery. Mm-hmm. And then I had to turn it on, and then they yeah. can see the lights turn on. Yeah. And I plug my phone in. They saw it charging. Yep. Uh, okay, yeah. Which I don't have any problem with any of that. Safety stuff. wise, no, right? Yeah, but then I, yeah. Then it blows my mind when somebody comes in and it's like, oh, yeah, with this. <laughs> They're like holding it yeah up it's crazy like, hey, it how did crazy. you get in with that <laughs> i just think well you know someday i figure things get caught up with them and for me it's just one of those things where it's like i get salty i guess I, i'll call that one yeah. out <laughs> so what's uh what's your your go-to when you like oh yeah yeah to the parks yeah yeah it's i mean my favorite ride is pirates of the caribbean by far so i love pirates of the caribbean forever but What's funny is for a minute there, I haven't done it as much, but I like starting off a Jungle Cruise. I think it's really the yeah. jokes kind of get me in the yeah. rhythm, like of what I'm yeah. about to do. And, and sometimes I'll admit the cast members that are, you know, barely starting, I could tell. But I feel so um, fortunate that I get to see multiple skippers. Like back in the day, I had yeah. one shot, you know, to get on that ride. And then I would have months of not getting back to the park or even sometimes right. years but now i have the opportunity to see different skippers or even see new or ones that come back and do their skit differently like yeah yeah they're different jokes or yeah, something. yeah and i love it yeah. i just love that part because it feels like it gets me in the i'm not necessarily to see all those animals i know they're pretty cool but <laughs> yeah <laughs> but to see someone in their element like trying their best to just a general audience that has no idea most of the time what is about to happen right. they're just getting on right. it because they don't you know, it's a ride and it's a short line, maybe. Um, yeah. I love that. I try to get on that a lot on the first ride because the music, too, there. I always tell people if you come here and you get stuck in this line, don't. The music in the line. Yeah. Is, don't yeah. underestimate it. It is yeah, classic 40s. Disneyland. It yeah. is just awesome when you listen to that music. So there's always two things that get me kind of like pumped up right there. Yeah. So you said Pirates is your, your all time favorite ride. Right. What? part of pirates is there a certain section that that hits you and you're like okay i'm at disneyland Mm -hmm. i think it hasn't been as good as when i was a kid and i hate to be that judgmental of it and it's only one part of uh, the ride that they could sometimes do it right it's the scene when you come out of the cave and you see the boat you see back in the day was a different captain and you see the battle scene yeah, uh, yeah, and then you see the sky and the moonlight. At that point, when I was a kid, that looked like something Real. out of this world. Like it was just yeah. like I'm in the world. I'm I'm here. This you're is the immersed in, the, in that. That's it. Yeah. And you're like, you feel air flying by you. These small things, and you're just like, what the heck? Like, and then you could see the water. So like, it's close to you. It's not far away. You're in the water. You know, and especially yeah. when I was younger. It still amazes me because I could look around and. I know there's things I probably forget and I just see them again. And uh, right. I love Barboza. So when they updated the ride with the newer pirates, I'm a big fan of those movies. Um, it, it just kind of felt even more special for me going through that. But why I criticize is because the fog's not always the same. And I think yeah. if they can nail that fog <laughs> yep. every time, I would feel yeah. a lot better. Because when it's not there, it just kind of feels it's weird. It doesn't feel right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel. Yeah. There's sometimes where it's like super thick. Yeah, and, I look like. And I'm then other times there's, there's nothing. What are we in the Bay Area? What is this? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to, <laughs> under the Golden Gate here. What's happening? <laughs> but yes, it hasn't been as good as it used to be. I hate to be that guy, but it, it, it was better when they used to have a good amount of smoke come through that area. Honestly, yeah. so sometimes yeah. I get it and sometimes I don't. So when you first enter that building and you see that moon on the wall, yeah, there's a cloud oh, yeah. that go by. Yeah, yeah. One of those sort of looks like it turns into like a skull just as it like disappears. I don't know if I you need to, 
I got to look at that again. Now I want to catch that. Okay. <laughs> now, I've never seen it. There you go. I've never seen that. I've always get caught up looking at the just the moon itself, you know, just looking at like I get just stargaze it a little bit kind of like yeah. I'm in this I'm in this world for this moment. So it's most yeah, immersive it's for cool. me. So there's there's one thing yeah. that we always talk about, especially on the ride through videos that we do. Um, seeing the ceiling. Do, <laughs> okay. do you notice yeah. that a lot? Like, and you're like, oh, there's like office. <laughs> yeah. Office I, <laughs> the more I go, this is the catch 22. <clears throat> the more I go to the park, the more I do notice those little elements. You know, back in the day, it was my focus was so straight on the ride because I didn't go yeah. as much. So I was like, I want to catch yeah. it all and soak it in. Right. But now that I go so much, sometimes I'm like, my eyes will drift a little bit more because I'll just be like, you know, making sure the camera's good. Then I turn my angle back to what I wasn't looking at. Like I change my focus and yeah. then I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. that's, <laughs> that's there. Okay. I never knew like a ceiling or yeah. sometimes you see like well, an old vent and you're like, it's Ooh. funny <laughs> because uh, our friend, Chris, okay. LMG vids, he, he has a super low light camera. Oh, and, awesome. And so when he goes in pirates, I never wanted to watch his videos because I could see everything. Ceiling. You know, and I, yeah. I told him that I didn't want to watch your videos. Wow, that's a good point. I've always been like the worst thing about having a cell phone stream is it doesn't do well in low light. And now I'm like, maybe Which that's is good. a good thing. That's a good I didn't thing. Ever yeah. thought about it because I was like, I always told Rebecca from the beginning uh, when we started live streaming, I was like, it's got to be HD quality. I'm not going to stream like on Instagram. It's just too grainy and yeah. it's portrait. But the, the thing was, I had to have good quality if we streamed and that prism app was giving good quality at the time. It still does. But I was, I always complain about the low light. I'm like, it's too dark. <laughs> People can't see these little details. And now I'm thinking, you know what? Yeah. I think yeah. I'm okay with that. Especially in, especially yeah. in pirates or like haunted Small mansion, world. you know, oh, oh, remember the, the world. Of, yeah. The roof with there, the lighting. There's, like, there's different yeah. tiles. There, there's like straight up AC vents. AC vents coming there's... out. Oh my gosh. It's yeah. The there's a, but that's the most, you know, it's funny. The most afraid, my wife and my niece, uh, I love a lot. Uh, uh, they, she comes with us a lot. She, we've, we've, we've definitely tricked her into being a Disney fan. But <laughs> the, they were on Small World one day. That we were the last boats, and we were all there. We're just this was our last ride, and that was the scariest, scared she's ever been at Disneyland. Both of them, because, and this is everyone's gonna be. You're gonna think it's the dolls, right? It's not. Yeah. So they were pulling the boats away into that little curtain. Area, oh yeah right you uh -huh. know you always see that too when you're coming yeah. around there there's the curtain yep. you might on the right hand side there yeah. yeah so here was the trick though i was looking that way and they were looking to the left and right of checking out the you know small world and the cast member that came out with the <laughs> hook and they turned and they just see this cast member there and they're like ah they literally <laughs> screamed all of them the cast member screamed my wife screamed my niece no. screamed and we were like the only ones on the boat at that time. It was so late. Oh, that's so it was, yeah, it's one of those yeah. moments I never forget. Cause I'm like, that's the most scared they've ever been at Disneyland. Like, and they've gotten, yeah, yeah, and it's a small world. <laughs> it's a small world. And people will always probably think it's the dolls, right? No, yeah. no, it was a cast, a cast member with member the hook. With the hook. <laughs> <laughs> she came out real sneaky. I'll admit that's that. Funny. She came out. It was oh, funny. funny. It was funny. <laughs> you got to go watch our small world. Where, well, the second small world ride through okay. Jeff and I get really, well, mostly. Jeff. Oh yeah, you guys, you guys went off. He went him. off about this theory and something, and I was like, "Well, you don't want to hear my theory." Oh no. <laughs> the the end is like your your day. <laughs> you're going to like heaven. Oh like, okay. So the white engineer, like, all I together. Can see it. In, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I. <laughs> that's. I mean, why wouldn't you want little angel voices singing you into heaven you know what i mean like that's i could see that i'm with that that's that's an interesting i mean these ima yeah these imagineers they were having their minds open all the way so it's yeah. like you never really know what it was about but i, I mean mary player with the artwork in there is just oh yeah yeah it's amazing it's it's just yeah. so good so i yeah i i could see that theory that's funny I, i'm just glad you didn't say like the the dolls became like asylum or something like that because that was the nickname well, cast members used to call that doing that did that ride did you ever know that it's, yeah i remember I, talking to one of them yeah and they, they said if you want to see something really scary is come here at night when they turn the air off and those dolls were like you know do 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 yeah and then they, yep. he goes, that is the scariest, the thing. scariest thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call it the asylum because of music too because they just get stuck in their head the whole time yeah. so and i love it when we get on the ride and 
people will be like, I'm I'm leaving, I'm shutting this off, or I'm putting on mute. I'm like, all right, sure, we're getting yeah. on. <laughs> I get it, I get it, but I'm getting on this ride. I love it. But Small World Holiday, I, I love. Oh I love God. Small World Holiday. Small World Holiday is just one yeah. of those things where I love being a Disneyland uh, yeah. person. Uh, not to shoot shots at Disney World. They, they got it going on, I, too. But I don't like their Small World. It's yeah. inside of a building. I've never been, and, uh, but I've watched plenty of these yeah. YouTube videos, and it's yeah. like, yeah, it it's like weird. doesn't fit with my what I see no. when I see right. Small World. Yeah, I like being outside and seeing the boats and, you know, the blue oh, color. Right. And and Christmas, that. like you said, the, the outside yeah. lighting is just it's, it's, it's beautiful. amazing. I love yeah. it. You can see the train also, come through. And yeah. blow sometimes. Yeah. Oh, I love that. It's my favorite. It's also like, you know, I, I'm i not so much an IP person, especially if you toss it in every ride or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It is one of the rides that I like when they made some of the IP characters a part of the each land that they belong Oh, in. that's a good point. Yeah, and it was creative how they yeah. did it. You know, if you ask me, yeah. I, I remember when it came out and I was kind of like, how is this going to work? But I'll admit now every time when I turn the quarter corner after seeing Little Mermaid, I'm looking for Stitch and right. exactly I'm that's looking. my favorite part. I'm looking for him. I mean, and then and at then Christmas the, time they have Elvis, the bobblehead Elvis. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm yeah. always looking for you know this is Lilo and Stitch. I'm always yeah. looking for uh, that the part. ride through that we did was that Christmas version. Oh my God, it's a good yeah. one. That's the best. And the ending room, the heaven room, as I'll call it now, because of you <laughs> guys, Jason. I'm gonna call it the heaven room. And people are going to be like, what? <laughs> uh, my, like, you got to have the uh, the overlay. Like, just follow this, this link. And here yeah, you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And then you'll find it out. What I mean, my reference. I'm down. <laughs> um, so what, um, I guess, what would be your favorite, uh, I don't know, food item or something or drink? Okay. Or, like, what What do you... Uh... Oh, man. You know, I was... Well, I already know. I already know what it is at <laughs> California Adventure. But yeah. in Disneyland. <laughs> uh, Disneyland. Yeah, we should make it a little bit more creative. Huh? Well, at, at California Adventure, I'm well known for uh, partaking in any watering hole that's there because I like to enjoy myself there. I don't get... Sure it to a point where i don't know what i'm doing it's just more of a yeah. it's a it's a point where i feel like a celebration goes with that so i go to the the lamplight lounge a lot which originally here's where i got sucked in it was called the cove before yeah yeah and mm -hmm. um remember how i mentioned earlier uh me and my wife got married uh at the parks thankfully it was you know something we were lucky about but we were going to that restaurant when it became the cove like literally we were lucky enough the week they made it the cove again or when they made it the cove we were there yeah. we just were there because oh, we were traveling cool. and yeah. then we met the people the staff the cast members the bartenders and before you knew it like we were coming like every month or every other month so much and we would go there to end our trip we'd be like this is our last hurrah and we kind of just like wrap up all of our good feelings and we'd have it over drinks and food they were knowing who we were even though we were coming you know not every day or anything they were right. they remember our name They'd give us oh, their stories. Cool. And so yeah. it was like cheers kind of. And yeah, uh, it, yeah. turned, it turned around to this, which I, I think I've shared this on the live stream. But if not, here you go. When we were getting married, they asked us if we wanted to do uh, a dinner after our rehearsal uh, with the, our group or wedding. And we're like, heck, yeah, we want to do a, a rehearsal. Um, but I mean, where can we do it? And they kind of gave us places like around the resort, like the hotel that Grand Californian or a Disneyland hotel. And I was like, uh, why don't we just try and see? Oh, no, Rebecca was like, why don't we just try and see if we could get it at the Cove? Like, because they kind of know us there. Yeah. A and she's like, I've never seen like that done. But she was like, that's kind of, that's a, she was like, I think it's a great idea. So we literally got the liquid <laughs> courage that day after they asked us that. And we told the manager, like, we were there, like, we we're having a wedding here. We're planning and we want to use this as our rehearsal there. And that manager, I was like, she, we were feeling pretty good. And I thought at that time, like, she's going to think we're full of it. <laughs> but, but once we gave her our um, wedding coordinator's information, she followed up. It was like, then wow. a week after that, we had an email and they're like, this is cool. We're down. We want to oh, wow. do that's, this for you guys because, like, that's we, great. we know, like, you guys have some ties here. And, like, if you're, you know, willing to put this as a part of your rehearsal, then yeah. And we got it. They blocked off a whole section for us. And then I remember it always became this place, like, Whenever we would go back before it became lamplight, they would be like, 
you're the only ones they did that for. They never did it again after wow. us. So that was one of those things where we're like, that's me. Yeah. That's something special. Yeah, yeah. The manager just worked it yeah. out. They were like, it's only been shut down for private events. And that's like the whole park shut down, right? DCA right. completely shut down, right. but they've never had the parks are open and they reserved seating just for our wedding family. So our family was like, I'll never forget it. They yeah. were like, when we told them it was going to be there, they were all like, oh, do we have to get chairs and like kind of stick together? <laughs> and we're like, no, 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 this is going to be good. And I still remember this day. They were just like blown away. Oh, that, was the, that was the best part of it though. Yeah, man. Oh, and then Disneyland. Okay. Back to food. Yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> the food part, you know, me and Rebecca have always touted uh, the Plaza Inn. Uh, for the fried mm -hmm. chicken and i always do the mash i cut back on those vegetables even though some people like them they do um but i'm a double mash and fried chicken guy but i'll admit i haven't ate there since 2019 and i hear now it, that some of the portions have changed and stuff and i'm like ah. are they like smaller yeah now? and i'm yeah. like that it was not the way it used food. to be yeah, yeah it, it you used to be able food. to share it me and rebecca would share mm -hmm. that and we would feel so full and able to hit the park for our second run that was yeah. our go-to but now if you're gonna ask me like someone's like right now i'm really into the pretzel parmesan twist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna that the garlic one right that one was yeah that on, was it's on another level it is yeah. so good. I know it's just a carb loaded piece of cheese bread with Parmesan. It's so good. Though. It is so good. I will so tell anybody. Jason hasn't had it yet. Jason. Uh, I know I you was, just got your, just go straight yeah. over there. <laughs> it's at Maurice's cart. Yeah. Nailed yeah. It. It's at the Maurice's cart right yeah. across from where they do the, uh, you know, fantasy land theater things. I forgot what they call that one, but the, yeah. the smaller one. Um, so they, if you go there, get it. I, I'm, Oh, this is the first thing in a while where I'm like totally behind it. I'm like, this is good. Yeah, because when I came down there in October, when I was trying to meet up with you that yeah, time, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but I met up with uh, our other friend, Hey Man, okay. with J Man, and he's like, "Oh, I want to try this thing." So we went to the Maurice's cart, and it's not even on the menu yet. Mm -hmm. It was totally brand new. All right. And he's asking, what what's in that? And it's just aluminum foil. Yeah, you can't you know, tell what it, it is. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't tell. He goes, what is that? He goes, oh, that's the, um, you know, the pretzel bun garlic cheese bread or whatever they call it. I forgot what they called it. And he's like, oh, that's what I want. I want that. So he grabbed that and then he gave me a piece of it. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> so I, and then when you guys, when you guys got it, it's like, oh, they're going to love it. Oh, my God. That was... <laughs> That's when, like one of the best things I've had there. When's the last time you had it? Oh, the last time we had it, we had it. We were off stream last time. So I think that was like maybe two months ago or a month ago, somewhere around there. So I, I ate it off because I wanted to just tear it up with no one watching me. That's why <laughs> I was just watching somebody else's video and I, I can't remember who it was and I can't remember what they were eating, but it was the newer item. And she said that one wasn't there anymore. Oh really? Oh, oh my you'll, gosh! You'll have to uh, go there on your live stream. We'll, we'll, we'll I I will. It. I know because I keep giving it props. Yeah. I mean, recently we've been. And it better be there because that's what it replaced the other pretzel. Oh, it did. Thing that that's had. right. Yeah, you're right. So I'll check it out. Uh, thank you for the tip, Jason. I, I love that because then I could go <laughs> back and confirm these things, and people will either be like reassured or be like, no. Yeah, because yeah. it happens, you know, things get pulled, and then my oh, second... I know, like the breakfast. I used to always get breakfast over at um Rancho dos Ocala. Oh, used yeah. to always get breakfast, the pancake breakfast. I with never the got eggs. to try it. Everyone always said it was pretty good, so good. Yeah, uh, I missed out on and that. And then they one. got rid of it, and then they moved it over to uh Rose Red Rose Tavern, mm. and it was totally it didn't taste the same. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mean, it's probably the same thing, but it, to me, it didn't prepared taste. the same, maybe maybe yeah that's, that's a bummer yeah. yeah i usually breakfast my go-to is the carnation cafe on oh Mace yeah Bay. yeah that's yeah. The, there's yeah. some real good it's it's heavy you're gonna feel when you yeah. eat it that's for sure oh, yeah. it's yeah. gonna yeah. slow your day down but uh <laughs> I, I love it it's so good that's my go-to breakfast uh and then my second close favorite that you could grab on the go is the ronto wraps there's so oh, much yeah. debate on this because some people yeah. are like it's dry i didn't get enough I don't know what it Soft, is. I whatever, get it. Yeah. Whenever I get it, it's nicely <clears throat> seasoned and uh, the thing's warm. And maybe I just yeah, like I've dry had it stuff. A few times. It's been, it's been both, both yeah. times have been really good. So. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's a highly debated thing, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. But those are my go tos if I had to pick. Nice, cool. That's good. I I yeah. was talking about the music, 
And um, back in the day, speaking of the Cove, it's a short little story I'll do, but I wrote a song <laughs> about this day. Uh, oh, yeah. Me and, and our, our mutual friend, Christy, we were in a um, Disney's uh, Facebook singles group. Oh, and, okay. Um, there's some other members there, and we were, we were at the Cove, and this is back when, uh, I don't know if it was Tronica, or no, it was Mad Tea Party. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was and, bringing um, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a song about this guy who had too much to drink at the Cove, and we made our way to a Mad Tea Party, and he claims his foot got stuck in the, the, the track, the trolley track. He, he just fell? fell straight on his face. Oh, man. <laughs> So I wish yeah. I could tell you out of the times I wasn't streaming then it was a long while back, but the, I wish I could tell you, I didn't see a story like that, but I don't know. I can't confirm they were at the cove, but I could confirm they had had a lot of libations and they were on the <laughs> dance floor and ate it, which oh, I whoa. thought was hilarious, but yeah, you know, yeah. security ran in there so fast, you know, it yeah. was, it was hilarious well, for me. But. Just just on your li li live stream, when was it? On Saturday, I think it was, mm -hmm. where that the little sister and the brother. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my god, that, that was, was a so moment funny. I love catching. Like when I try yeah. not to laugh, right? Try not to say anything because I don't want to be like, that was mean or you know judge yeah, me. Yeah. But this, oh, that was funny. Girl, she just like she was over her brother and just like full on, but you know the Disney yeah. real Disney trip came out. Like yeah. she just pushed him down. Like it was nothing. Oh, I was that like, was. That's hilarious. That is that's funny. He got up. He was fine, but you know it was just so good. Uh, that was in Cars Land when you're yeah. walking. Yeah, walking I remember. I was just I was amazed. I was just like, this is why I come to the park. Like I could, I I might not like I love baseball and I compare it to baseball. I might not see the same thing every day in crowds. It'll be different. Right. Something will right. be different that day. Hopefully not against me. Uh, but yeah, yes. <laughs> but it's it's usually just around me. But I totally. I think that's awesome making a song. I always think, God, I probably could write songs about the things I see that are not necessarily on stream. That's because, you know, that's where like inspiration comes from. Yeah. But I have a question for you, yeah. Jason. You said it real quickly. Did you ever witness electronic in person? Yeah. Um, it, it's not my thing. And I'm, and I'm, not, I'm not the guy who's going to go out there and dance and do that. Oh, I, you could have just walked I in there. I will sing my songs <laughs> because there's no one else to do it. But it's, I'm not the person who's going to be like... I'm gonna go do a live show and singing with people. Like, not gonna yeah. happen. man, Electronica was. Oh, that I, was... I just remember Videopolis when I was at high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old I am. That is a callback, eh? That is a, <laughs> and it's, it's well remembered. You know, our 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 group audience really spans more to folks that have went at uh, Yesterland things, and that's why I love too because oh, yeah. they tell me yeah. stuff, and I'm like. You mean like like Jemco and Fedco and <laughs> that, that whole time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're talking about all the old old stores, and you're like, "What the heck's that?" Yeah, I had no idea, but it, it makes me feel like you know, brings you back to reality, kind of like it humbles me. Like this is totally yeah. something different. I'm just a different different time, a different period. So I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> um, I think before we get to the games here, I'm gonna do one. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. One final question. Let's, and um, I, wait, I have one final question. Oh, yeah, too, go after, for it. After, after your question. Oh, after my time. question. All right. Yeah. So you go first. What, uh, I guess, how do I say this correctly? Like, what? what's your ideal day in the park? Oh. Whether you're streaming or, or not streaming. I mean, what? I can't separate those. So when I'm streaming, you know, an ideal day is I get there and... I get to catch something that not necessarily is like promoted, but it's a part of the magic. Uh, for example, watching the Disneyland band in New Orleans as they're in front, yeah. or excuse me, not New Orleans, or uh, by Frontierland, right by Rivers of America. Some of these things you don't really yeah. go for all the time, but you catch it only if you're just sitting around the flag retreat. Um, yeah. Those smaller things at a Cars Land, I love every day they do the shaboom when the lights go down. And I'm on the live stream, and someone goes, I've never seen this before. Just like Steve yeah. said, I've never seen yeah. the beast that I've never seen beast. I go, That's when I know, like, okay, I opened a little bit because right. there's plenty of people yep. just get on a yeah. B line and they wouldn't, they got to get on rides, mm -hmm. they got to do this. And I get it, it's expensive. You have a plan, you want to get it in, you want to experience the highest ticketed things, right? But when you slow down, so you're going to probably find out, like for me, it's slowing down a little bit. And you look at what 
goes into those other things that make the park magical it just really like you could these people watching me on the stream get to see that behind that part where you're like there's real people and my cat's yelling at me sorry <laughs> I, but, I just heard <laughs> buttons is uh he's a uh, well known on my stream he's a boss yeah. so he's making sure i stay in time sorry about that if you guys hear that but the uh the, the behind the magic parts you know those are the optimal things and then if i run into somebody that you know knows me too that's that's another one where i'm like i never thought i'd be at disneyland and someone would stop me and be like I've seen you before. Yeah. I've watched you and it really brings up my day. And sometimes I'm just getting set up. Like I'm just setting yeah. things up and they catch me and they're just like, they're happy to see me. And they say, Oh, they'll say my stupid things. I say like <laughs> stick with it. Or I say, you can thunderstruck. I like yeah, say yeah. stuff like that. Or they'll ask me to do one of the impressions that I do on uh, Matterhorn your, and stuff like your that. Your Aussie impressions. Yeah. You know? Yeah. All the things. <laughs> And then I realized, yeah, you really watch because you would not know those things. And yeah. a day off stream, it's with my wife. Um, it's it's our happy place. I mean, going there, um, probably going to get some, you know, libations and then have dinner somewhere. And then afterwards, just sitting in front of the castle. That was what, something we always did uh, prior. We would just like, that's where we wrapped our trips at a lot. We would just sit there in front of the castle and kind of just people watch. And I, and I just yeah. loved it. The ambience. I do miss, though. I know this might be coming up later in a question, but I, I my top thing to listen to back then was the old Main Street music, um, mm -hmm. the old tracks, the ones that were before now they've included and updated because that was originally that was my nostalgia that I loved is just sitting there and listening to that. So those are my two. Yeah, I just love those two. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, if I happen to make it down there and you're there, drinks on me. Oh, I appreciate <laughs> it, man. You better watch out with that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, 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 can, I can keep up. I'm, I'm a cheap baby. It's all right. <laughs> oh, Steve. Man. So my question. So you have Goofy Guy Adventures on YouTube. That's your main your main channel, right? Mm -hmm. You're also on the Podcateers, which is another uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. Uh, with um, what was his name? H Hazen, Melissa, and Melissa, and Andrew, and yeah. Andrew, because Andrew does um, Quizland, Quizland, right? Very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is your other your <laughs> other channel that you do? <laughs> Are you talking about the gaming channel? Is that yeah, the one you're talking? Yeah, about? I yeah. just started. I appreciate you putting out there. I just started this, um, and it's because tr truthfully, uh, I met uh, uh, through the channel i met a close friend uh his name's Corey, Corey and he's right? yeah. he's a super content creator he's definitely wants the the media business but part of that is like oh you gotta do gaming and i was like yeah man i haven't played a game since like halo days <laughs> and i'm just not good at it i, I mean i i can't be kind of good at it i'm really good at racing games honestly and we haven't played those he kept saying we we're gonna play when yeah. we never did but yeah because <laughs> he knows i'll beat him but with that it just he gave he gave me his prior prior xbox he had and he's like this is it now you got to play with us and i was like all right so i started uh playing with them and then i was realizing like you know i could get the hang of just kind of talking and uh, doing this just like yeah. i do the other channel but make it more at first i was thinking i haven't incorporated that yet but making it more um sports talk slash whatever's in the news kind of talk but mm -hmm. as I've been doing it lately, it's Little Larry's Cave. That's what I've made it because I, I picture it as like we're all coming into this cave with me virtually and we're around this virtual campfire. So on YouTube, we just I've been playing Modern Warfare 3 mostly. So and I know I owe a game to Steve. That's probably why he's bringing it up. He's like, did you forget? <laughs> no. I surely didn't. I just have so many quirks, quirks at the workout on like just today. I was working with the Mac, but you guys don't know. But behind the scenes, I was yeah. trying to get the audio to work. And I'm like, ah. I don't like doing yeah, that I, on stream, so I know you're having issues with uh, the uh, with uh, Discord yeah. and the audio and yeah. trying to stream and with YouTube and all so, that stuff. But so. yeah, guys, it's not that yeah. bad. It's 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 just me being pride picky. So yeah, if you if you uh, like to see a guy really try and be terrible at something, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's fun watching. <laughs> I try to mix it up. You know, I've I've learned to ask like more questions. Everybody like we've gotten really nostalgic. Like one of my favorite conversations, we were talking about stores at the mall that we used to all see stuff like that yeah. kind of just pops up. And just like on the live stream I do on Disneyland, but more of it's Disney yeah. focused. Right. But this one's yeah. more open game. And that's more mature content. Too, exactly. Right? Good that, point to point that out too. Like some days yeah. I'll drop a couple of my, my regular self 
uh, words, <laughs> choice of words. But Your non-Disney. My <laughs> non-Disney self. Yeah, I know. And people were probably like, what? I thought that was you 120, 24-7. I'm all like, I am that guy. I'm respectful. I'm always respectful. But yeah. when I get home, I don't got to be respectful. I'm just who I am, right? <laughs> so that's what I try to tell people. It doesn't mean I'm a Disney cut. You know, I'm definitely respectful. That's what I am at the park. And I try to be that. So, yeah. Thanks. Appreciate cool. that. Yeah. And you got your little buddy there. I, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> you barely could see him. I didn't problem. I know. Him. I know. But uh, I have Chubbs. Now, technically, everyone knows this from Mickey's Runaway Railway, um, which you guys made a good point. It should be called Goofy's Runaway Railway. But um, <laughs> I love Chuby. And ever since yeah. I saw Chuby on our ride uh, here in Disneyland, mm-hmm. I was like, if they ever sell that bird, I'm going to buy it. And yeah. I wasn't even thinking about a shoulder pal at that time. I was just going to get it to have it and then probably like put it on my backpack or something. Uh, but when they came out the shoulder pal, it almost felt meant because well, they sold out fast at our park with, for them. But the one that I picked, this guy, which I call a guy, not a girl, Chuby's his wife. That's my storyline. Uh, he's <laughs> He rides with me, Chubbs. Yep. Um, and then the little eggs you see. He's crack. part of the stream. He's part of the so, stream. He's definitely yeah. got a lot of demands. He's got his own. If you don't think that we're watching the stream, you'd want to see something crazy. He's got his own clothesline. So <laughs> he has a designer. And that's one of them Shan Shan you might have heard. Shout out to Shan Shan out there. But yeah. she designed clothes. And I've gotten honorary buttons because of him. Like they're like, oh my really? God. They give me the Disneyland honorary button. And the first time yeah. I got it, I got it twice. But the first time I got it, it was funny because Shan Shan was on the stream, the one that's designing mm-hmm. these small, small clothes. It's a shoulder pal, guys. It's the bird. It's a shoulder pal if you can't see. But it was crazy because at that point, she saw it and she's like, you got a pin, the honorary Disneyland citizen pin? <laughs> I said, yeah. And I go, Chubbs got it. So it's yours. I said, you can have it. It's officially yeah. yours. You're the designer. That's his award. And so last time she came, I gave it to her and she was so pumped about it. She like put it on and everything. That's funny. Yeah. She's a lot of fun to be, have on the show too. Yeah. She was one of those people that really went with the flow. I knew like certain yeah. people, like I get it. You, you kind of just want to be there, say hi, and then enjoy that moment. Uh, but then there's people like her yeah. that are ready to like test me out to see like how I really am on the stream if I'm that person <laughs> and I am that's who I am yeah. so yeah that's yep. Chubbs that's his background yeah. the husband <laughs> that's funny okay well maybe we know the answer to this one as you just <laughs> got into but um we like to play little games and one of them we call a magic hearing as a little take on imagineering which is pretty much uh, something that is your go-to or a memory or just a sound or music that you like that's uh, somewhere in the parks and from a movie or, you know, anything, I guess, Disney related um, that, uh, that something that uh, you like, or, you know, like I said, brings out like a memory or something. Absolutely. And it's, it's, I, I did. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I did cheat a little bit because I wanted to see what these questions kind of were set up as. So I watched some pre <laughs> ones, but you would have been right. Yeah, if you would have asked me that question, was that pre 2017 or when they 16 maybe they changed the music uh, on Main Street? That was becoming my. That was once I heard that original music. It's still there. It's just now yeah. they work in up. Right. Uh, uh, music and it's differently sounded. It just doesn't sound as crisp as it used to for me, uh, or, or like recordy. I guess that's the best way to oh, put right. it. Yeah. So yeah. that became, you know, it's still there for me, but that fell down. And I was thinking, if I gotta go nostalgia, because I think I kind of heard this before too. Like, what really signified the park for me? And I was thinking about it. And I thought this is funny. Uh, it's irony because I really never thought about it until I was thinking back of that trip with my family. We just bring that up and I was like, okay, now I remember. It's not even really the crazy thing. It's not at that time, it wasn't Disney property, but it was the Star Wars track. It was the Star Tours ride. That ride really changed. I was always into Star Wars because I was a sci-fi kid. Loved all sci-fi stuff, hence the Tron. But I loved it. And when I went to the park and I got on that ride, I still remember riding with my dad. And, you know, that was before the 3D glasses thing, right? Um, And it was just a screen. So it it 
really blew my mind to see that all play out. Like, and then to yeah. feel like you're flying basically in space. Like that was insane. And then it like ends up in the park, right? It just, it was, it or leaves the park. Soon. It's just, it was insane to, to be in that and see the, you know, CP3 or R2D2, these things I'd seen in the movies. And it became every time I hear that John Williams suite. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, the, he's the centerpiece. I always say that. And I have shirts. You probably know that I have a lot of R2D2. My wife loves him probably more than I do. But I, I definitely that's it sucks because I always tell people like it's not technically it wasn't Disney. It was just George Lucas offering yep. that to the park at yeah. the time. So now it is. So it counts. But back then, that's why I was pumped when Galaxy's Edge opened. I was like, I get to get in the Millennium Falcon. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was that day was another dream for me because I got to steer. You know, it's it's a it's a big video game basically, but yeah, it's one of the coolest <laughs> video games. Is me like just to making th- a, throw that flight oh. uh, light speed switch up. Yeah. yeah, you pull it down. I know. <laughs> I'm so jealous. You, that's funny. Yeah. You bring that up, Jason. Every time I when I was streaming, I don't stream as much anymore. But every time I was in there and I'd see that person grab the handle, I'd never be so jealous at that moment. I'm like, just, <laughs> and sometimes your kids, I'm like, just pull the handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, yeah, it's it, it gave me all the nostalgia. But, yeah, Star Tours, the music, yeah. John Williams Sweet, uh, hearing the music in there, and then the whole right. spill. They still play that, which I love. They still play the original spill about, you know, we need to put everything under the bag and don't buckle your seatbelts. Yeah. Yep. That's that. why I love my I, – I found that video of mine from yeah. 1993. Mm-hmm. I just love playing it because that's how I remember Star Tours is, yeah. is like that. And I haven't written it. Ever since they changed it, the very first time when they changed it, oh, yeah. I, I didn't like it. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, uh, I don't need to ride this anymore. So it's, I haven't written it since. It's it's different yeah. now. And, you know, I, I show it sometimes here and there with the glasses to go in there. It's not. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. It's not well, I remember same. that one time they told you you can't. Yeah. And then the that was a weird can, day. Right? So that, was, <laughs> that was a weird one. That was. Yeah. There's some days I just don't understand. And, and that's just the part. Like, this goes all back to the selfie stick. Like, somebody yeah. sometimes <laughs> is just like, we're going to impose this rule. You can't play it here or stream this. And I'm like, it's not. This is not like a thing. Like, it's. A, I've seen this stream by 50 people other than yeah. me. Yeah. It's on video everywhere else. Like, this is a 20 yeah. year old ride, technically, if you think yeah. about it like that. I have it from 1993. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's older. So, like, um, yeah, this is more than 20 years, but it's, I was just like, dude, no. Like, yeah, this is that insane. was really like, weird. This is yeah. weird. But I just went with it. And I was like, okay, this is just a weird thing. But yeah, it's, that's what I thought about after I heard you guys ask that question. So, Jason, technically, it's different, yeah. The Star Wars music suite really gets to me every time. John Williams, that's what yes. gets me. I actually had um, the little dun dun dun, you know, like the little chime it has. Like uh, that was yeah. my my uh, text, my text yeah. notification. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, but I, I just watched a video of somebody remastered like the original. No, um, and it's all like, the original all video. Original, yeah. Oh dang! They need to put that in there. Yeah. That, the original. Wow, you imagine? Yeah. Oh man, that I remember so how cool. big Captain EO was when it came back. I oh was yeah, there. that's another one. That's yeah. like when it came back. It, oh it yeah, I had insane. to go. I watched it like three or four times when it came back. I, we were there yeah. the opening weekend. Uh, it was one of those times where me and Rebecca were on a kick of Disney. And we we're like, I had never gotten on it before. Before when it was originally there, and yeah. uh, I told her I was like, I don't even know what it is. Like I have no idea, and I, she knew I liked Michael Jackson too. And she's like, You've never been on it? Like really? I was like, No. <laughs> she's like, well, Okay, we got to go. And I was like, For real? She's like, Yeah, let's go. So we just did one of those one off. We're living in northern, you know, middle California, drove six hours on the opening weekend, yeah. and it was electric like that was one of those times i was happy to be a disney fan people were dressed up as captain neo the merch was available oh, yeah, yeah. man if that, i only would have yeah, known that area was so packed it was all so the time. busy if i only <laughs> would have known i had like we had bought buttons from that and now i hear it's so rare to get all that stuff i'm like i yeah. wore a captain neo shirt that i got from there probably like for seven years after i got on the right i would have known man i would have kept yeah. it but yeah that's if they bring back that to star tours i would be down i'm pretty sure yeah. people like steve are gonna just jump in that line and tell their kids go wait out there at space mountain and i'll be back in four <laughs> hours <laughs> something like that yeah yeah that'd be that would be amazing it's a great question that. too guys appreciate it okay well now comes our next game which we like to call brew sky rectify greetings program 
game. This is all his design. He wanted a new piece on the board to change the game. Where's the part? The only way to win is not to play. Enjoy the drink. Preparing already. Not for the young ones. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I do have a brew. <laughs> Yeah, and brew could be I anything you want to drink, um, can, but we kind of yeah. play a little game whenever we drink. You can drink along with us. All righty. And we call it uh, Brew Sky because of the brew, which goes along with Blue Sky. And we call it Rectify because of that little hat you're wearing. <laughs> I love the pre-video. When I saw the pre-video, I was like, I am so in. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, so, so Rectify means like to bring about a better version or tear it down, bring it back up, whatever you want to do. Up. So, mm -hmm. so basically we do a, we do a park chooser and then a, an attraction chooser, which can be a restaurant or a ride. And you just got to find a way to make it better. This is going to be good. I hope, I mean, I hope if I get one that I'm like totally <laughs> not with that, that'll be funny. Cause then you guys are going to you know, poke at me, but that's good. Well, you know, if you watch these you would know steve has only gotten disneyland i think like once or twice that one before i watched that was the one he got disneyland i think yeah. i just i can't remember what it was though but i remember seeing steve, it. steve finally dca so yeah i know i know yeah, and it's funny. only he was watching yeah. me did you hear that story and he's like he was in dca he is surprised he didn't just say like, no, dca yeah. what is this guy doing he's like what but, is this place in this park i've never been to yeah <laughs> that, that's where <laughs> that can't be true that's, that's I will never cool. go there <laughs> <laughs> no wonder why it's underground it's underground yeah. that makes sense <laughs> all right well here we well, go cars land is is basically the the land i like yeah um, yeah well, well done it. you guys talk yeah, about i know you guys talked about sight lines time. before and that's that's yeah. an amazing part of the park because i was there uh when it was at christmas time oh and yeah the park closed already and it, it was raining oh so i was my friends or my family went on radiator springs racers i have i had a bad back that day so i i, I couldn't go totally on. understandable so i was just sitting there i was all by myself on that street it was oh. all wet with the and you see the light, light reflecting the yeah, neon it was, oh my yeah. god it was such a neat i wish i had a camera to take pictures back then <laughs> it's just it takes your breath away the neon yeah. there is it was well done. Like that was oh, yeah. one thing I was yeah. very happy they incorporated that and then, you know, didn't cut edges, didn't cut corners. They they did make you feel like you were on that road at Radiator Springs. And yep. Yep. Yeah, when it rains, it's even better. I'll tell people that yeah. all the time. Like this is one of those things I tell people like don't just look at what's look at the ground, look at whatever you're seeing cuz you're not going to get light reflection like this everywhere. There's not neon no. places that have that no more. It's just yeah. no. It's just no. here. But yeah, the reason why yeah. movies uh, wet all the roads when they start filming. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get that light reflection. Okay, well, you, sir, are You're first. first. I'll pretend I spin the wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Usually, uh, I'm the one spinning the wheel for people to try to win. Yeah. Stuff, so <laughs> this is a difference for me. Uh oh. That's okay. I'm willing right. to battle with the big boys. Here we go. GCA. <laughs> Uh, how do I change tabs? I'll have to do it this way. Well, that's what is that? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to know yeah, what I that is popping up on there. <laughs> Steve, I don't know what All right. I don't really know about that. <laughs> I mean, I look like an invention in itself, just to say there's some yeah. engineering going on there. <laughs> Goofy, oh, goofy guys, guys. Well, how about oh my gosh wow that's irony is this thing yeah. listening to me yeah yeah <laughs> how do i make that better well i think off the bat um well first off please always have the single writer open they don't always have it open which that bums me out that's one small thing they can do um because i like getting in the single writer for that ride but if you're asking me uh i think I definitely now this is you could go free reign, right? You could definitely yeah. like, go yeah, wherever whatever, you want to do. whatever. I would make it uh, the track a lot longer for sure. Uh, I would want a longer ride. I'd want more dips. So I think I would have it. Mm, I, I know this is gonna be unpopular, but I think I would have it pour into more of that paradise area that they have the grills and all that. And I'd oh, have yeah. it like yeah. maybe go 
okay i'll keep it i'll keep it fair i'll have it go over the top of those things and come back around so you get oh, kind of like a that would be cool yeah a cool vision of the the side of you know the world of calaria disney you could see over there yeah. towards the death wheel as they call it and then you yeah. come back around you could probably do a dip somewhere in there too on, on one part of it just like a little quick one but i think the biggest thing they could do which probably is change the ride vehicle like steve bring up like oh my back's bugging me that is such a hard ride to get in and out of and it's always constantly moving which helps it load yeah. but if they could make that ride vehicle just a little bit bigger and a little bit more comfortable i think people would be more uh willing to get on it i mean it is fun it's just a quick thrill ride it's one of the very few roller coasters my wife can do so it's a i would make the track longer make it go extend out maybe not knock down as much as you know that whole area maybe go over it so you could see people and then you know i could see it go over you which would be pretty tight sitting yeah, over that would there. be kind of neat yeah so and, i have a perfect addition to that we just have to go over towards the lake and just get rid of jumping jellyfish or whatever oh, that is and zip. yeah <laughs> I was right you, on that. you just cut it right through there, right? And then it goes over the yeah. people will see it go just like when you walk through uh in credit coaster, you know, yeah. You're oh yeah, the yeah. One, you see it above yeah. you. Do the same concept yeah. there. Yeah. Have a gap That'd through be really there. Cool. I'm down. Yeah. Not yeah. There's gonna be more people. They won't make anyone sad. Go to in, go to Worldwind. Yeah, yeah. If you want something like that. I know it's not the same yeah. up and down, but it's pretty much the same kind of concept of a ride. I don't yeah. think I think the swings are way more fun, honestly, if you're going to ask me. Silly Symphony swings, if you want to go up, that one's cool. So I'm good Until with that. the swing uh, comes loose and then you keep flying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the great, great, great addition to let everyone know about that one. But that uh, uh, hasn't happened to me, thankfully. Uh, maybe one day you guys will get to see on the live stream. That'd yeah, no, be pretty intense, no, no, but, no. you know, and then you all know you could cash in and get to the lawsuit from my, you know, instant... <laughs> damage whatever that Great. be <laughs> i watched that live stream and now i can't go to sleep i can't yeah. sleep yeah it's all your guys fault yeah i i would say that's a great idea jason having to go out there get rid of the because you know what drives me crazy when i'm waiting for like something on either it be the my favorite what's the fleece the navidad show they do out there oh the yeah Viva navidad love that yeah. show but i just can't stand waiting because you hear jump jump jellyfish oh yeah 45 <laughs> times i'm like okay i'm over this those, jump, those, jump, i mean jellyfish. that i mean this, the swings are part of it too but those are like the ones that are still left over from old school yeah first the old yeah. the old they got rid of the yeah. malibu mer and they kept those they, they took the orange away from the, the orange yeah wing. that was yeah. supposed to signify these california touches yeah i yeah, yeah the the Malibu one was something else, though. I'll admit, that was pretty yeah. intense. So I, I'm okay what they did, but that was a pretty intense ride they pulled out, unfortunately. But hey. I, I missed all the games that they had there. I used to play the basketball game all the time. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. God, yeah. it's a bummer. They're different now, and I still, you know, take it. Yeah. I still go for it and take it to the kids when I get a chance. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that just made me sound so great, right? <laughs> Thank you for giving the opportunity, and I look forward to your guys's. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Now uh, we'll see what Steve gets. Maybe I yeah. got the DCA for a reason, Steve. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yes. Ah, there you go. I gave you better oh, luck. Thank you. <laughs> this would be number three I get Disneyland. You're on a hot street then. Oh, you got and, the monorail. Oh. We've I talked mean, about this one many times. Yeah. So like what Jason Jason wants it to go all over the place well yeah you know as an actual transportation in theory this could happen now yeah mm -hmm. yeah it could now that they step one has been approved so yeah going outside the park yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. new land um i i would thought it'd be kind of cool if they they actually had a stop at the grand californian oh yeah so you know that would actually be kind of neat if they had that um I, it's funny because i remember when I was a kid taking the monorail and where the station is now in downtown Disney. That was a hotel, to, right? Or... Yeah, it was actually a, um, you, it was like a bunch of shops. Yeah, yeah. So you get out and I remember walking down the carpeted corridor. That is so cool. Uh... Yeah, and it's all, everything was white. I, I remember everything white and then the, the carpet was like, or the floor was carpeted. 
and you walk down the steps and then they had all these little stores on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And that then go so cool. and then you're walking to, to um the Disneyland Hotel. And then Cal OSHA came. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I like to hear though, what do you think? I, I it sounds like Jason's got it down, but what are you thinking? What would be your well you said the Grand Californians are pie in the sky. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Do we kind of need to have a, a load and unload there? Okay. Um, yeah, just sorry, just to t- tip on that. Yeah. The one thing yeah. I always like uh, at Disney World is to see it go through the actual hotel. Yeah, yes. that, that would be kind of neat. Like it, it goes it through, 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 through it off. Like you should make it so you can see it inside. Yeah, because that's the thing I don't like about the monorail is when you come into uh, DCA is you see all like backstage stuff. Yeah. yeah, you see the back of the walls. You see, you know, what what's that? Yeah, I don't want to see that. It's like I miss. I actually miss looking for my car oh, in the right. parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> hey, that's a good point. I do get a lot of comments about people when I get on the monorail. Like, I love that I get to see the Harbor Boulevard Road. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, I guess the Denny's and yeah, everything, they, they, they McDonald's feel like, and everything. I guess they realize like it's it's real. You know, it's not just a yeah. made up area. Like it's a real place. So it's a good yeah. point. Good point. Yeah. I do. I do like the return trip, uh, the the money shot area where you you know you're coming around the bend and you see the Matterhorn in front of you, yes. stuff beneath you. That that shot is that's like the best in the yeah. whole thing experience. The, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I I would just make maybe uh make it a little bit different, the track different layout. And have a stop at the Grand Tech Californian. I have to stop you. There's one thing I would immediately want them to do, which would probably never happen. What's that? Please install an AC system in the whole ride. (laughs) Please. You guys are known for AC. Just do it. I remember when they... I think it's there. It's just it doesn't work. They never fixed (sighs) it. They never fixed it. Yeah. Yeah. It's on one of... Was it blue? It was blue, I think. I think you're right. Blue, yeah. It was. And yeah, bummer. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's my innovation. Folks. And the other thing too, I like, I wish is I can stand up. I oh, wish I could stand up. Oh, dang, that'd like, be cool. That's like a touch of like Tokyo, how they have out there. I think. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I, like uh, I think Disney World you can stand up as well. Oh, yeah, Disney World you can stand up too. Oh, they have dang. holes where you can stand up. That'd be cool. Like, I'd like I don't want to sit all the time. I, I like to stand up and look out. Yeah. And, you know, different perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I think if they were to get the taller ones, they might have to change some clearings. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there is some tight yeah, spots. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> All, right. All right, Jay. What are you going to get? Oh, you got Disneyland, too. All right. You always get Disneyland. I'm loving it, though. I get to hear the, <laughs> the mastermind. I rigged this thing. Yeah. <laughs> he waited. He's got weights on it. This, this, yeah. This yeah. Party. <laughs> <My mind. laughs> Although I should probably make one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> when it actually has tick sounds on well sounds. yeah well and then he'll he'll tap it as soon as it goes on something he doesn't like it just taps it and it goes <laughs> oh man one. it's like the old school days at the carnival right there yeah. oh so close buddy yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh well uh, oh no wait yep star tours star tours wow. there you go just reference that yeah man, how could you make it better um well i don't know if it's better but Right now, having it in that location when there is a galaxy's oh, edge. You're nailing it. And I, I know yeah. everybody hates this because it's another simulator. But it just makes sense to move it over there. You know? No, no. Like, you're right. Especially if, like, at some point, Tomorrowland's going to be updated. Right. And, Whenever. and that's either going to go away. The year, the year 2050. Yeah. But it's Maybe. either going to go away permanently or they are going to move it somewhere. And literally, I think you could take two of those because there is four um, star speeders in there. Mm. You could take two of those and easily fit it within that little ex- extended queue line uh, over by oh, behind uh, Millennium Falcon. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. That's like a I good think idea. that's the perfect fit, and you wouldn't even like I just make a building. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> but that would give. Uh, more kids to do over there, you know. Yeah, yeah, another you ride, another attraction. Ride, so, yeah, but I also think it, so. You could you could break up that with the two, and maybe do something else with that space, and still have those simulators for another attraction, maybe yeah. in the future. Who knows? Right. Well, that's what I would do. 
I'd rather have another dark ride where Star Tours is. Well, like, I mean, where yeah. like Adventure to Inner Space sure. again, you know, <laughs> rather than another simulator. But they could sell those off. Somebody could use those, like at a museum or something, you know. Good point. Instead of just like I don't know the barges over at Disney World where they just destroy those. Mm. Mm. Just stop. Yeah, because those are actual flight. Yeah. They're from Boeing or something, I think, those those actual those simulators. They, there's tons of things you could do. Some, somebody else yeah. could do a lot of those. Those are good. You ideas. can make a, another, uh, like a big Hero 6 ride out of that. Yeah, oh. I mean, anything. I just, I hate when they, they build something like those barges. It's just, oh, yeah. They spent yeah. like $2 billion, or I don't know what it was, but they just destroyed them. Like, that's just dumb. You could have sold that to some other park that had a lake in it, and that would have been cool. Hmm. Good point. Anyway. Yeah, no, I'm, right. I'm with you. That's the most common thing I hear at the park. I hear yeah. that. People yeah. say, why Star Tours here? <laughs> I always hear it. Everybody says that. You get California Adventure. Oh, my God. I am on a hot streak <laughs> with DCA. <laughs> here we go. At least I know these things. Back you in the day, I would have been hard. Well, oh, there we go. Speak <laughs> of the devil. <laughs> what was it? I can't see. Sorry. Silly, silly symphony swing. Wow, <laughs> man, this is tough. My wife loves this ride, so and I do too. I, I, how do I make it better, man? Or how do I change it? Well, I think. Well, it, it's hard to say to make it longer because people do get dizzy on that ride. So that I wouldn't do that. I liked that they overhauled it to what it is now, the silly symphony. Before the orange thing. I mean, it was all right, but it was kind of weird some points, I think. Didn't fit as much, but it was a cool orange. It looked cool. It yeah. didn't fit. Yeah, from the outside. The yeah. outside, right. Exactly. <laughs> well, then maybe that's what I would do. Maybe I would cover it up and just put projections in there. That would be I know. Cool. I know where Steve would go with this. <laughs> exactly. What is it? Take it to the ground? <laughs> this is the same, the same no, thing no, no. that we talk about you could do in Space Mountain or... Um, so our, our thing is is taking the um, America Sings building or Star, what is it called now? Star Tours or not Star Tours? The Star Wars, uh, whatever that. The building. Oh, the oh, oh, yeah, you're talking about the Launch oh, the main building. Oh, the yeah, one that spins all the yes, time, right? Yeah. Okay. So what they should do with that is gut it all out and put in like something like the sphere yeah. in Vegas. Yeah. On the inside. That would feel so like now, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's like another version of Circle Vision 360. Mm. But you're in that theater now. Wow. That is smart. Okay. They should do something like that in there. That so like your idea of the silly symphony putting projection inside mm -hmm. and like you're flying through something yeah i can even get creative with it like if you yeah. wanted to you can make it like to i don't know you guys see um they have these things at events now where like they're these sheets basically where they project uh light or they have light built into them where they have video basically yeah and it's their see-through you could do yeah. something like that yeah. and that would look really cool yeah. at night that I don't would know be about really, really cool at night yeah it it'll probably work cool. more at yeah. Yeah. But that's something you could do too. And it, you know, I mean, it takes a little innovation. Imagineering would have to get involved for sure. But you talk about yeah. keeping this cool dynamic of it being there. I mean, I could see people being like, I love this. This is so cool. Cause not only you're getting to see outside, you would be able to see something to look at other than trying not to, you know, think about your, your demise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's, that's, that's yeah. what I would do on that one just to keep it. You know, I like the, I like the statue there. I know there's some people that would really go outside the box probably and just take it all down and make something completely different there, which you could, I mean, you could bring something else there. It's a good space, but if you're trying to keep that same like idea yeah. of silly symphony, you could like make it the cartoons playing around you. Like you're in right. the world right. when, you know, yeah. that would be so cool. I, I'm just glad that they never put a dragon swing in, <laughs> in that area. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that was yeah. a good move. Yeah. All right. Come on, Disneyland. I know. And now, you, <laughs> now I'm envious. I'm getting envious now. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm getting envious. Here he goes. <laughs> Salty Larry's about to come out. <laughs> Got all the DCA stuff. <laughs> what is that? Cafe, Cafe what? New Orleans. 
Oh, wow. that doesn't exist anymore, doesn't it? No, it's there. It's there. It's still there. What? I thought that was Tiana's. No, oh, that's that? the one beside it. That oh, was... that's the French, the French, the French market. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. what it used to be. Cafe Orleans. That's the one that that's next door, right? Right. right. You sit outside. Exactly, and there's okay. like very limited seating yeah. inside, yeah. like really tight yeah. space. So that that's what I would do is fix the seating. Maybe have double decker seating outside. Oh, okay. So you have you know your your balcony out there i know royal whatever 30, 20 30, club 30. Yeah, whatever <laughs> yeah. yeah whatever that is i know that's upstairs but still i mean it'd be kind of neat you know just to because i love sitting outside over there because yeah like you said inside is really really tight, tight. yeah inside there that's because well, and then they, they share the building with the other shops it's, right and so, i could see the royal whatever it is to 33 buying in because then they would be like well at dinner that's ours like that only belongs yeah. to us yeah. you guys could use it during the day but at dinner that's yeah ours. That's, that's a good idea yeah, yeah just like that yeah because it'd be nice to have like a can you imagine sitting up there no the i can't because it'd be <laughs> awesome yeah, yeah. i don't want to imagine i'd be so sad i would be the biggest <laughs> hater every time i would look up and see the club 33 members up there and yep and i and just then feel like fantasmic if, oh you know yeah i would be throwing up there throw some popcorn at him as far as i can because <laughs> of my envy but no yes i could see the image you're seeing and it's beautiful that would be have, awesome have you ever been to club 33 i was very lucky this ties back into my wedding yeah i i got someone uh made our dreams come true by getting us into club 33 the that day after our wedding so and it was the yeah. original one not the one it is now yeah it was like yeah. the last year i think it was like that and uh it was oh, it was amazing it was something like i'll never i'll never forget and we took a good amount of people with us the reservation we had was like nine or ten which was really good oh that's good yeah we yeah. got real lucky with the person that hooked us up but the the thing was i was there was points that i was like these people don't know how good they have right now yeah. I was looking around and like they went to with us for our wedding, right? They're out there and it was great. But there's only like a handful of us in there. Like, do you realize this is like hollow ground for Disney fans? Like this is yeah. the original concept and it's gonna change, you know? And uh yeah. oh I love it. There's a picture Rebecca has that someone took that were behind us as we were walking in. And uh I you could just see the both of our looks on our face like wow. Like wow. Yeah, never it's thought we were gonna get in here. This is so cool. That is neat. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I have never been, even though I keep asking Ernie. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do like Blue Bayou. That's, I'll have to tell you guys off the camera who got us, and it's a pretty crazy story. But, yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, Jace. Now, who are you gonna, what are you going to get? California Adventure. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. The, now you're really rigging. Who's rigging the system here? See, he knew. He's tapping the table. I saw it. Steve's yeah, tapping the table right now. He's virtually tapping. Flows. Flows V8 Cafe. There's not much wrong with Flows. <laughs> I would say, yeah, you're on it. I like the seating um, in the back. I, yeah, the yes. seating around the corner. Yes. I, I think yeah. I said this. Actually, I think I got this last time. I said the same thing. I would extend that seating back there. Mm, okay. There's not much room, but there's not. It's tight. Um. Wow. I'm gonna go something different. Just say offer more desserts because that's I I go there for like the shakes sometimes and yeah, be nice that they have more options. I guess. So okay. I'll just yeah. say more so desserts. Maybe they have like. You know, I'll jump on there. Maybe they have like a lot of other parts of the park where they change up the menu every once in a while. Yeah. Like, cause that would be cool. Cause then, yeah, like yeah. you could go all diner status there. Like, yeah, you that's, could yeah, exactly. Get a whole bunch of different things going. I like that. Get some um, root beer floats. And... Root beer floats. And, uh... <laughs> Man, you imagine. Then they're, they're going to make you buy it, though. You can't get the root beer float unless you get it in this souvenir cup that looks like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like a gas can If that or souvenir cup is worth it, I'll buy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, if it looks like the, the V8, like... Oh, you know, oh that would be, cool. would be. Yeah. Oh, we're giving good ideas away. Stop talking. Stop. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to see this part. one's for free, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, Chris ever make a, a miniature version of that? Uh, I don't think so. I think the so only our, thing Disney he did was a small world and that classic sign. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of our friends, or he was on the show, 
Uh, he's friends with Jason. Um, you, you may know he, him. It's Route Nine Signs. He does a lot of like Route Sixty Six and. I Vegas. think I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And he does all the miniaturized signs, and it's just amazing the detail that he does and stuff. So, passion, man, it really is in yeah. the community. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, that does our games. Get this well, out cool. of the way. And I don't want to. I don't want to be in this. <laughs> it changes. I don't know why. You know what? He does. He, yeah. He's he's writhing in that Disneyland way yeah. today. He is just. I can feel it. It's just too much right now. It's okay. It's because I'm in the presence of Larry. So I'm, I'm far from it. <laughs> I know. We'll talk afterwards, Chubbs. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, any last words there? Um, I think I got questions for you guys. Okay. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, we're gonna flip the tables here because that's what I do on my live stream all the yeah, time. I try to flip. flip the tables all the time. <laughs> all right. So I've heard this is not too Disney, probably, but I heard Steve, your dad used to work for an airline, right? Yeah. yeah. What was the best? I mean, it sounds like you were right. It's pretty did you awesome. Write questions. Yeah. yeah, he's got his little notepad and everything. Come on, you saw those graphics this, on this my live stream. This doesn't work. <laughs> this is on my live stream. I try, I try. Yeah. So the what was the best like thing you can remember as a kid? As a, I know you probably just got used to it because your dad was, you know, that's just what it was. It operated like that. But what was your best yeah. memory of a flight you have? Hawaii. Oh man, dang it! I yeah. Didn't. Oh god. It, it, How old <laughs> were you? Oh, uh, I there. I went multiple 39. times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I went when I was a little a, a little kid. I was like two. I don't remember that, of course. Um, but I do remember when I was. I believe I was six, and then I went I, when I was thirteen. Mm. I went. Okay. Um, and uh, I just remember how excited how exciting it was. You know, I love uh, back then. I loved flying, mm. and my dad. We would always um, fly first class, but we, it's standby because of the airline. You know, you have, when you work for the airline, you have to fly standby. Uh, I don't know how it is now, but that's how it was back yeah, then. And then we always had to dress up and everything. So, but that one flight, I was thirteen when we were going to Hawaii. That was. It was amazing. That's funny. That's the first thing I dropped yeah. earlier. Like, I'll take Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know that about you. That's so. Uh, that's pretty yeah. cool. But did you know, we went. Do they do the lay thing, or is that just made up on TV? Uh, no, they did. did oh, yeah. I just want to go for real. that. You could be like, uh, I don't know if they do it now, but but you know, back then the, when you saw yeah. that on TV, you're like, I'll just take the yeah. lay. You could just put me back in the plane. I think this yeah. is awesome. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like that is so cool. I, I yeah. believe they uh, when Adam the Woo just went over there like a couple months ago. I think they got a lay too. Oh, I, I can't remember if it was the airline or the hotel, though. Oh, because back when when I went, the airport was still <clears throat> outside. Mm. So you, when you exit the plane, you would actually exit the stair stairwell, and then you go down. You're you're outside when you're exiting the plane. Mm. Like kind of like I don't know if you ever remember the Brady Bunch episode when they're in Hawaii and they land, and then from United, and then they, they walk down the stairs, and then they get a lay. Yeah. That's and then, like what so I'm referencing, things like that. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's how it was. I don't nowadays. I don't remember because I went in the last time I was in Hawaii was in '95, mm. and I don't remember. I remember it, it's now a, a terminal and everything. It's it's not no longer outside. You exit in the building, but that, like that terminal has like no windows, so it's like wide open too. Wow. Yeah, I don't remember anymore. Well, I, remember, oh, I remember just from watching Adam's yeah. video. Oh, from so, Adam? Because yeah. oh, okay. I've never been, so. Yeah, yeah same, same. I'm <laughs> over here on these, you know, I'm on no islands. I'm this guy's the, been there twice. And I'm on the whatever. inland over here, literally. Yeah. That's what they call it. But I've, I've been to Disney World, and he hasn't. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been there. <laughs> well, good I've been pool. to Holland many times. Okay, but, well, you got yeah. me there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for sharing. That's awesome. I, I, yeah. I, Honestly, when I heard you say that, I was like, that would be like the coolest dad drop job ever. 
Yeah, my dad works yeah. for the airlines. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just say like you don't have to. He tell was him. just a per- purchasing agent. No, but, but you didn't have to tell it, him it what it was. You just say, yeah. works for the airlines, and everyone's. Yeah, I think the yeah. first thing, oh, it's a pilot. Dang, pilot, man. Yep. lucky, <laughs> lucky. No, one of my friends lives it up. Uh, he's lived. He's based out of Chicago, and he immediately when he left, he's our home, United then, right? Yeah, yeah. Chicago? And so yeah. then he was like, "I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be yeah. a stewardess, or I'm gonna do something with the related to the airline." We're like, "Go for yeah. it!" And he's living the time of his life. Because because yeah. he likes to travel. He likes travel. To exactly. That's, so my, that's it. My dad, my mom really didn't like to travel too much. Uh, but my dad loved to travel and what was nice back then, this is, you know, back in the eighties. Okay. Uh, we would visit my, my dad used to work for Western airlines and then mm. later that got bought up by Delta. That's what I remember you referencing. Okay. Yeah. So we would go to my dad's work at LAX uh, park in the garage, walk <clears throat> to my dad's office, and then he'll take us through the hangar. Wow. Uh, oh, and then cool. so I got to see all the planes. Yeah, and my that's dad's cool. friends were mechanics and stuff. So, you know, I got to hang out out there. And the bus would pick us up at the hangar and take us to the, the terminal. So cool. And yeah. And, the, and then so you, the bus would drop us off. We would walk up the steps and we're right there at the ticket booth. There's no security, nothing mm-hmm. back then, you know, until, of course, yeah, when 9-11, 9/11 then right. everything, all that changed. Yeah. So. I had something like that, too, but it was a, a different circumstance. Uh, me and Rebecca were very late, the LAX, like everyone else, and they literally yeah. were so late, they put us in a van to catch the plane. So there you go. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. True story. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The fight, I, uh, we, we, we got lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Similar That's thing, amazing. But, um, so I, I was married once and we, we were coming here and we had a connecting flight. We we're actually going to actually we're going to Vegas, but we had a layover here. Okay. This is before I moved here. I, I lived in Boston for a while. Oh, that's right. You mentioned that. Okay. Um, no Boston accent though. No Boston. Yeah. Uh, Boston. No, the Boston. I, I was only there for yeah. seven years. Um <laughs> but we had a connecting flight and because of the time changes or or we thought Arizona changed at that point. So, yeah. oh, oh. We thought we had an extra hour, and we started going to gift shops and stuff. And, and all of a sudden, we like a half an hour, literally, we hear our names like, "Run to your thing! Yeah. We're holding the plane for you." Oh, <laughs> and we literally made it like just in time. They they held the plane a half, like twenty minutes for us. Wow! Yeah. They don't. Yeah, they they saw you do. shopping for. They <laughs> <laughs> went back in the camera. And they're like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like wrote his name down and yeah, like they're like, oh, yeah, this the thing. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would have loved to say that's the only time me and rebecca have been late but just picture home uh alone that's me and rebecca sometimes is the most bad luck on airlines i i hate to say it, i've had some bad luck oh, just being timing wise that lax one yeah. to give what happened was uh, we got a parking spot in, in a good parking lot but it still was outside the main circle of oh, madness yeah. right yeah. and we decided to take the shuttle instead of just walk and that's where we messed up that was yeah. a bad that shuttle has to pick up other people yep. and it <laughs> messed up everything it was it was bad we were we literally like out in the van it was like fogged up because we were running across the airport like sweating <laughs> so the van's driving yeah. to the plane and it's it was crazy but yeah it's that's yeah. a that's a story for another day <laughs> but um I will ask my question to Jason. Now, you know, I'm a big Tron Legacy fan. So I was like, I got a Tron Legacy person here and I heard you drop it. You said that the soundtrack, right? It's got you, right? The newest one? Is that the one you're referring to? Yeah. Okay. If you had to pick one song from the soundtrack that you're like, that's the one that I go to. I'm like, I love this part of this song because I have one and it has a story behind it, but we get to that if we want. But what would it be? It's okay. Take your time. You got to look it up. It's all good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is now the Goofy Guy Adventure. I know. I told you to flip it. Hey, people who are listening, they they know they like you guys more than me. They're like, we come uh, for yeah. Jason and, and Steve. We don't come here for Goofy Guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they probably heard these things, you know, and I feel like they're wondering, you know, like, well, which one sticks with you or what? Uh, being, you know, an airline, I would think that'd be a interesting life. Like you that's said, a, going yeah, that to was the a neat question. Nobody, no one's really asked me that. So that that's was a cool what I question. do. What I do, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this this is hard too because I, I like 
I, I like the whole thing. So it's a great, uh, it's a great, it's amazing what they did. Um, you know? One thing that always stuck with me in, and it says, you know, it's from the, in the movie, obviously. And then the music changes as, as soon as Flynn drops into the end of the line club and the oh. music changes. Oh, that gets me every time. So I, I'm going to, I don't know what that track is actually called right then and there. I think that's a combination of two I tracks. I think it's actually though. called in the line club, but yeah, yeah, that's, that gets me all the time. So end of line. Yeah. It's uh, end oh, of line. yeah. And also, uh, <laughs> Spoiler alert! My 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 game show thing, uh-huh. the, the last screen in the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. comes from the end of these videos. By the end way, these so, videos. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I would say you, that's how we were talking about how to end the video, and we're like, well, you, you got to use line. the end of the line. I didn't go that far. I should have watched that far. We, we actually have uh, <laughs> the classic Tinkerbell World of Color, and she goes. Oh, yeah, I was loving all the animations. Like I said, especially when I saw the. The Tron callbacks, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's a good pick, man. Because I, I've for many years, and I just haven't had the resource. I want to dress up like Flynn in that scene where he comes in, you know, yeah. the light up, uh, LE whatever tape they use, and the kind of the his was, get. Oh, I want to be that for Halloween. Then, but I'm sure you could probably do it with, you know, LED strips. The LED yeah, strips. I've yeah. been wanting to do it, and I keep telling Rebecca it's going to happen. So now that's I Did just build that. You got to get the helmet. From, from Disney World, I, I I bought it off of eBay. So, oh, is that how you got it? Okay, yeah. all right. So I guess I gotta I gotta get into this. Then I gotta get the helmet. <laughs> I gotta go all in. I was already jealous seeing the leather jacket around. I was like, eh, it's okay. I get a better one for someone. I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> and I was gonna tell you my Jeep is named Tron. That's what I named oh, my Jeep. Yeah, and I got the yeah. whole Tron logo on it. So it's uh that is something that was low in the that was long in the making. But for me. It's the end titles, the legacy, Tron Legacy, that song that they use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, well, I think I told this on live stream too, but Rebecca one day comes home from work and all of a sudden, I'm just telling this as third person, she tells me she hears music blaring from outside of our house, like back home where we used to live. And she's like, why is Tron Legacy is playing over there, right? Like in credit. <laughs> so then she comes inside, and I'm like losing my mind, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like pumped up. It's like my pump up song throughout, pretty much ever since I've watched. That's that ending right there pumps me up. But I just finished my last final of my undergrad in college, wow. so that was the song I chose to play after yes. I got done. Like, yes, that's cool. in the line, I yeah. finished it. <laughs> that's where it ties in for me. So. I- if I'm like sitting at home and I'm like, oh, you know, I, like in between different things or like I don't have anything to do, Tron. Tron. Come yeah. I have to. But it's funny because I got my my nieces in into that. Into okay. Tron. You're lucky. So my niece falls asleep three... every time. Oh no, she loves it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So does Rebecca. I, there's I, two like... movies that they have to watch with me. Okay. One is The Party with Peter Sellers. This is gonna it's make... a '60s movie. Yeah, okay. And okay. Tron. And that's awesome. This is going to make yeah. you real mad, Jason, because guess what? The other one they fall asleep to, and I always say, we have to watch. These are my two picks, and they never want to watch. Rogue Star Wars. One. Rogue One. Oh, oh, one. oh, Rogue One. Damn yeah. Oh. And they always fall asleep. They're like, why? I'm like fighting through. I'm like, stay away. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So, so, yeah. so here's trivia for you. John <laughs> Noel, the guy who Rogue One was his idea. Mm-hmm. He's a, a man, uh, not a man engineer. He works for <laughs> I- ILM. Okay. Do you know what he's famous for besides that? Oh, I mean, for this question, I would think he's got to be something he did with Tron then. I don't know. No. No? Okay. It's something he did with his brother and another friend. Oh. It's, um, Wait, what, what's his name again? John Knowles. Oh know. yeah, yeah, I, I know. You know, oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is off Adobe. my sketch. Or off of my he just, he just said it. Yeah, Adobe. Well, it? Well, it wasn't Adobe. Adobe at the time, but they no. they invented oh, Photoshop. They, they invented Photoshop. Photoshop? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's unbelievable. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty him cool. And his brother and <clears throat> yeah, you'll find his name on that master list of people on their copyrights or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think they call that is cool. Or whatever. So. Wow. Yeah, great thinkers, great imagineers. You know, they technically are imagineers. They create. Yeah, something. they pretty much are. Yeah, yeah, they create something that we enjoy. This is something I've enjoyed for sure, guys. I appreciate you. Cool. Yeah, we'll, cool. we'll no, I'm on. so happy to have you on, Larry. I mean, you know, I watched you for 
long time now, you and Rebecca, and it always made me happy watching your live streams, wishing I was there. <laughs> <laughs> so to have you on and to talk to you and finally actually like, you know, conversation, have a conversation right? with you. And Absolutely. Stuff like Same. Well, Likewise, both of you. You have to go down there and just crash the live stream one time. Hey, you're never crashing. <laughs> no one's ever crashing. I, I mean, uh, if I you try to get me kicked off a ride, then we'll have some words. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> other than that, you're never crashing. <laughs> no, I, I crashed Provost's live stream. Well, with Amanda's. Um, oh, okay. That's, okay. that's cool. Hey, I'm yeah, down. I am down. Funny. You guys know I'm open. I will be happy yeah. to see you guys if you come. And now that I know someone's got a key, you know. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I don't. We're also trying to save is, for. And uh, this is coming good. for you. Oh too. man, so it's, if you guys are not watching, it's my beloved soon. To, I don't know. Yeah. Oakland A's in the limbo. The yeah. sign, and it's amazing. It's beautiful. You guys do both great work, by the way. Both great work. Thank you. Thanks. Well, it's maybe a lot y'all. Fun. You know. There's yeah, gonna be the some garage, fun. Make you a pirate sign. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, there you go. No pressure oh, yeah, here, but I would love it. Favorite, That's, yeah. I would love something pirates. Trust me. I are I yeah. love pirates. <laughs> yeah, it's, so, it's fun when when he's in line. Yeah, he I'm just talks like a pirate the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, people are looking, and I love it. I love it every yeah. time because I we be getting on the seven seas. I yeah. believe in live streams because you're in one. Yeah, I, I believe it was. And then he um, and then he stops and goes. Uh, can I get the back seat, please? <laughs> I've done it once. It was, um, <laughs> Treasure Island, the one that Disney made, where that talking like a pirate actually came from that actor. Oh no! But I've heard the story. I've never yeah. watched it though. Uh, okay, I did not know Treasure that. Treasure Island. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. It was never like a thing until he he started doing started, started doing it. it. Yeah, because it wasn't like an accent. It wasn't a thing. It was just, it was just that's like, yeah. That's when it became did. that. It now that's the common pirate talk. So, yeah, yeah, that that's is funny. cool. Okay, cool. Um, any other questions or you're good? Nah, oh. this has been awesome, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I have one more question for you. Oh, okay. Um, just just popped in my head since we were talking about Tron, and I have the helmet, and <laughs> obviously I got an Iron Man, and I got a Rocket yeah, Raccoon, and got I got a bunch cool. of other helmets, and there's a uh, well, there's low key a, flex right now, low key flex, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any props or, or or cool stuff that you have that you collect or? You know, it's that's unfortunate. Rebecca has her ears. She Rebecca, oh yeah, that's what yeah. I should say. I don't have anything, but Rebecca has been collecting ears since two thousand and two. Oh wow! So she's got over a she hundred now, yeah. and that was before wow. they got popular like they are now. So it's amazing. Yeah. She has like she kept, we're we're gonna do. They used to be on this wall over here, but this has became the multi-purpose room. So we like do filming in here sometimes. But we're gonna put it in our living room and like a whole spread of the wall. It could take up a whole oh, wall wow. over here. That's cool. So that's that's yeah. in the future though. We're gonna do that. Well, I see Speaking Story Rebecca, Rebecca, where is she? Oh, she's uh she's hiding out per usual behind the scenes. <laughs> My cat comes out to yell at me, but she's hiding out. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I see a Thor's hammer in the background. Yeah, this is, is that the, a black or, or what it's it It's just the zipper they sold at DCA. Oh, okay. It go, opens up right here, but I never use it for that. I just got it for the hammer. And my, you know See, who bought it? You know who yeah. bought it? Rebecca. <laughs> just to shove it that, in my face. That's like this. Wait. <laughs> my wife's a huge Thor fan, by the way. It's like, nice. it's the one joke everyone runs on me on the stream. Oh yeah, you gotta have it. <laughs> The gauntlet. I had to. I, I had to get this. I have the red one. That's the one I have over here. The Tony Stark version. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. the one I have. But yeah. yeah, that one's cool. That's awesome. It's like when, uh, when I the only uh, super cup that it. has the built-in like yeah cup <laughs> cup holder. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you how many times I I low key flex with my family walking outside with a beer in it and just like drinking from it and just be like what the <laughs> kids were like. And then that was a bad idea because the kids are like, what's that? I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. You, you can't. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't this. But yeah, it's very fun. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I think uh, on that note, uh, yeah. we will call this episode. Yes. Awesome. Thanks again. And I will put all of your for... links to Sweet. your two channels and your. I'm, I'm going to tell that. me when it's live so then I can tell our viewers yeah. to come over here and check you guys out too. You guys got um, some I, think, good content. I think we probably have. Well, I'll tell you off screen. I'll tell Sounds you. good. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. This is a video and audio podcast. So be sure to like however you can. 
<laughs> favorite platform. Um, we also have voicemail, um, which nobody has done yet. So maybe someone named Larry would leave us a voicemail. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we can play it on the next episode. No, I'm about to do more impressions. It sounds right. like. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah. So I mean, really get this going. Pirate guy, even <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> I uh, I see you're wearing some shoes over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's, only, good. that's only one I really do. Okay, well, again, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, thanks end again, Larry. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, end, end of the line. End of the line. Yeah, user. <laughs> <laughs> end of line.